So last we left off, I was in Freeside, it's called, that like neighborhood outside of New Vegas. We were going around Freeside, helping out the Kings and helping out the locals. Um, I just finished the sort of Kings mini series of quests and we're gonna go fix Rex. Rex is a robot dog whose brain is hurt and we gotta go get this robot dog brain surgery. Um, so I believe that's where I left off last time. Um, for anyone who's new to me streaming this series, as a quick reminder, please don't spoil anything for me. Um, please don't, please, please don't, don't spoil anything. And to be clear, a spoiler isn't just saying like, oh, this is the bad guy. Like, it's a spoiler to be like, oh, she's not gonna like this because you're setting a tone for me that the game hasn't set yet. So please don't do that either. It feels real bad to like meet an NPC and everyone in chat's like, oh, this is my favorite NPC. This is a good person and you're gonna like them. Like, I didn't have a chance to decide how I felt about them. Chat decided for me. So I'm glad this is a game people love. I'm glad this is a game y'all are excited to watch me play, but please consider the fact I don't know anything. And it's, it's, a, it's like, it's kind of a, it takes the wind out of your sails. It's a bummer to like meet someone brand new and everyone's like, oh, this guy's the worst. You're gonna hate this guy. And I'm like, this man hasn't even breathed yet. <laughs> you know? Um, and so we feel bad. Uh, <laughs> don't be wrong. After a quest is done, feel free to talk about it. But if I haven't finished a quest line, please just, just leave it. I will say the one type of backseating I'm totally okay with is if like I miss something critical in terms of like quest items. Like for example, I totally missed the fact that there was a dog brain. So everyone in chat was just like, grab the brain. Don't question it. Just grab the brain. You're gonna need the brain. <laughs> that I appreciated because now I can do the Rex quest. Uh, and I fully didn't understand why a dog brain would be an item. So like those kinds of things, like if I like miss like a chest, if I walk past something important, that please let me know. <laughs> Cause I don't want to have to like backtrack. Nightshade, hello! Hoi hoi! Um, so I'm in the... Is the railway rifle in this game? You're, uh, no idea. <laughs> um, it does not sound familiar to me, I can say that much. Alright, I'm trying to fix my stuff. Erin, hello! Um, and if anyone wants to watch the previous streams of this, they're all up over on my archive channel on YouTube. Um... But yeah, I haven't actually entered New Vegas yet. I don't really care to enter New Vegas yet. I have a dog who needs brain surgery and I, I, by gumbit, I'm gonna give a dog brain surgery, you know? How can I not do that? Oh, it's, I have this big gun. Uh, I have to remember all the buttons. Sorry, it's been a few weeks for me. I had holidays and travel. Um, okay, cool. So I have to go to Jacob's town in that big old crater. So let's go to the north gate to get out of here. There we go. Rex is a good boy. I like Rex. Rex is just a little robot. And if Rex dies, I will be reloading saves because I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't let the dog die. I'm sorry. I have... Is this the wrong way? How do I get out of here? This is Outer Vegas. This is where I want to be. Right? Hold on. This is right. This is right. This is right. Yes. Okay. Sorry. The quest marker system is a little bit janky here. Um. Sorry. Yeah, this is not hardcore mode. So, oh, that's right. Sorry. So the only time I've encountered a dog follower so far was... Oh god, the lady in Good Springs had a dog and it died and I didn't know it could die. So I immediately had to reload that save like twice. <laughs> but I forgot if Rex is in my party, it doesn't count. Also, my other follower is Boone because Boone is a god sniper and I'm not real good at the Rudy Tooty point and shooty. Um, <laughs> Cheyenne, thank you. I couldn't, I feel bad. I couldn't remember their name. Um, Brown simulator, nice! <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I think this game looks pretty good. I know it's old and it is largely just desert, but I feel like they do a good job of making it visually interesting. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Is this a door? Nope, that's just the wall. <laughs> Hello, Meyer! Yeah, Boo's passive is also extremely good. 
Um, I did have another follower, Elizabeth? Punchy girl in the burlap sack. Um, I had her help me on a side quest. But she kept murdering people and I needed I needed them not Veronica I'm so I feel like I keep calling her Elizabeth and that is decidedly not her name and that's very rude of me um oh what's the quick save button oh that looks like a hold up it looks like there's a cell phone in the road what is that oh it's like one of those little blinker lights I thought that looked like an old cell phone um okay how do I quick save I know there's a quick save button oh god um, I've had the game crash a lot, so I do want to save a lot. Uh, she's Elizabeth now, if you ask me. <laughs> Road blinker made by Nokia. I don't know why I looked at it. It just looked like a chunky cell phone. <laughs> the Nokia survived the nuclear apocalypse. You can't tell me they didn't. Like, come on now. That's absolutely how people were communicating for a minute. Um, have I discovered this? I think this is where I found... Oh, no. This looks like another apartment complex where there were a bunch of... Psychos. I forget what they're called. The people who took too many drugs and it went bad for them. This is what that looks like. Nokia is indestructible. <laughs> that really looked like a discoverable location, but maybe I'm wrong. Hold on, now the game's too quiet. This is a mess. I... Hate... This... Uh, okay. God, I'm a mess. Because I need to be able to hear if something's going to sneak up on me, you know? Let me know if it's too loud for y'all, though, because I can definitely fiddle with it. Uh, I feel like I'm supposed to follow a road here, right? Does this road go to the crater? The road will go... Okay, I'm going to just... I'm going to follow the road. Roads are safe in this game. Fiends, thank you. I could not remember their name. I'd wear power armor made by Nokia. <laughs> so, I don't know the lore of this franchise, right? Um, so I do have a question. You are free to spoil this. What exactly is power armor? I found some off of some dudes, some Brotherhood of Steel guys. Um, but I still don't really understand what their deal is. Can anyone explain, like, what exactly is power armor? It's basically an armored robot suit. Are there any downsides to wearing it? Like, does it have any kind of... Me right, because in my mind, mechanically, right, don't you want to, like, make sure players aren't just OP? What the hell? Huh? Who the hell? What the hell? Boone, what are you shooting at? Boone, what the hell's happening? This. Oh! Thanks, Rex. I did absolutely nothing. Good boy, I love you. Um... Cool. Oh, sorry, if anyone's wondering what my build is, before I forget, I'm doing a... Uh... I'm doing a... Talk your way out of problems as much as possible. I'm trying to go for charisma and smarts. I want to be able to hack everything and talk my way out of everything. Um, that's what I'm going for. Excuse me, dog. Uh, uh ooh. Grimy pre-war business wear. Sexy sleepwear. And it survived the apocalypse? Sure. I want to see what they think sexy is. Ooh, Patriot's cookbook. That seems like a magazine. Um, that's my crazier. Does that bed seem too big? It seems very wide. Uh, ba, 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 ba. peril. I want to see what constitutes as sexy sleepwear. How do I look at myself again? Oh, caution, danger. Well, I'm gonna be super sexy, I guess. But um, how do I look at myself? In third person, I forget. I want to know what sexy sleepwear looks like. If I gave it to Boone, would he wear it? What's your opinion on grilled cheese? I like grilled cheese. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Controller? I'm on controller, but I do have access to mouse and keyboard. I have both plugged in. I found a comfort character. I'm glad. 
it's always nice to find a character that helps you relax and, and feels just very safe. Right click, click right, left stick, right stick. The right stick's not doing nothing. Um, dang it, is mirrors don't exist in this game. I, ah, hmm, hmm. If I go to mouse and keyboard, oh, it doesn't recognize. Does it recognize? No. Okay. Well, I guess I just won't know what it looks like. I have to wear actual clothes. Uh. What was I wearing before? Uh. Do 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 do. I'll just put that on. Okay. Oh, I can probably connect. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Um. Controls. That's very smart. Change view left bumper. Oh, wait. Oops. Uh. Ooh, it's hard. That's a little risque. How do I? How do I? I want to see my front. How do I? No, uh, hmm. Well, I guess I won't know what this world considers sexy because I can't <laughs> turn around. But I have to say, it's imp it's impressive that this fabric has survived the apocalypse and doesn't seem terribly worn down. That is honestly impressive. This is kind of cute, actually. I've never really bought myself nice jammies before. I've give, been gifted nice jammies before, but I've never like, not like. Yo, oh, hold on. Let me let me back up. I've never been gifted like sexy pajamas, <laughs> right? I've only ever been gifted like very comfy, like uh, what's it called? Bleh. I was once gifted really comfy matching set of like flannel button down pajamas. That was a really nice gift I got. Uh, semi recently, and it is very comfy. Try holding LB. Oh, wait, hold up. How is this called armor when I'm? I have a question. I have several questions. I think the first question is How is this metal plate staying attached to my body? Because here's the thing. I love a strapless bra as much as the next person, but unless you got some kind of tape in there, if you're running around, that's gonna, that's gonna slip and fall. And then that becomes the opposite of armor. I'm very confused. The strap system is extremely bleak. Why did we spend so much time armoring my butt when my sternum is just out and about? As naked as the day I was born. What is... What is that? You're gonna tell me they have double-sided tape in the apocalypse? You're gonna tell me they're function... They're, they're, they're producing that? Alright, let's see. This... Underwear, I think, manages to capture more... Like, I think it, 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 it covers more of... The tatas? Than the metal plate armor does. And at least this cup like has a strap system. You could run in this more comfortably than the armor. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Thank you for the headshots. <laughs> this is actually cute though. I really like the lace details. I like I like lace on on um inner wear and outer wear. I think it's pretty. But I can't be seducing people. I got I got a dog to fix. Right, why is it telling me caution? I guess there's just a big old psycho camp over there. Fiend, fiend. That's what they're called. Fiend camp. I have strayed off of my road. I'm on the wrong road. Oh, well. Is this the road I want? No. No. All right. We're going to just keep going this way. <sighs> Thank you for the stretches. It's a sci-fi RPG. Don't question the logic. I'm always going to question the logic. You joking me? 
you can't tell me you can't you can't list something as armor and then not cover the body and expect and gaslight me into thinking that's acceptable i refuse this is a sketchy looking house i want it what <laughs> what is here this looks very sketchy hello no one's home that's boring what a letdown all right i'm gonna save because my game crashes all the time ba -ba -ba -ba. Here's the road. I really don't know how I managed to muck this up. I was so good at following the road and then I wasn't. So was this all just the outskirts of New Vegas? I wish I could find a little teleport point around here. Because it's just the middle of nowhere. I get turned around all the time. I promise, I have a decent sense of direction. It's just... kind of hard to navigate in this game, I guess. Maybe I don't have a decent sense of direction. <laughs> I was going the wrong way, oops. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was looking at the bottom left bar uh, with my little little tracker and I realized, huh, that's not looking right. That's not that's not looking correct. <laughs> oh man, I'm not smart. Just like you don't question cartoon physics. See, okay, so what we are describing is called the suspension of disbelief, right? In media, in movies, uh, anime, books, live theater. The concept of suspension of disbelief is that at a, as an audience member, when you are consuming a piece of media, you have to acknowledge before watching that media that you are consuming something, right? Ultimately, you have to acknowledge you are consuming a work of fiction, um, even if it is a nonfiction story, right? Like even if it's like a historical documentary, you still have to acknowledge I am watching an experience that has been filmed and edited, right? So in video games, the suspension of disbelief is a bit different. And that you have to you have to be comfortable accepting a lot more facts right when playing fallout you have to accept the fact that the apocalypse happened that nuclear tech happened there has to be a, a degree of buy-in on behalf of the audience member right but suspension of disbelief is a two-way street the the creator or creators of a piece of given media have to also make it a believable world right so if you're gonna give me a piece of armor in a world with power armor nuclear powered powered suits right if you're gonna give me a world that has these giant powered suits that have crazy defense stats you cannot then also list a bikini as a piece of armor and convince me that that is that is going to protect me more than clothing right obviously i'm, I'm being a little facetious here i don't like actually seriously worry about these things but you know it's something to consider vault 22 oh Vault 22, is that the one that I need a flamethrower for? But to be clear, I'm not like actually- I'm not actually deeply upset that the game has booby armor. That's just video games, right? I'm not like- I'm not like- I don't have like a personal vendetta about this, right? To be clear. Oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. That- that looks bad. There's a bunch of dead bodies. Um, but it is something that's interesting to acknowledge, right? Like, I want to look cool and not feel like I'm gonna die. It's a sacked caravan. Hello? Why are there no bodies? Noodles? I'm gonna have some noodles for lunch today. Um... Not really much here to loot, huh? Ooh! Nev- Oh, it's empty! Oh, dang it. Oh, well, I got day. I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to pick those up. I'll sell them later. Alright, well... That's kind of a bust. But there's nothing here. Well, I guess it was already sacked. So what should I expect? Oh, the pile of ashes on the bodies! That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh, it's part of a side quest? All right, hopefully I didn't just muck it up by <laughs> dinking some cans around. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hey, at least I have a teleport point now. I was worried. I didn't want to have to, like, walk all the way out here and then deal with stuff. 
Um, I will say, what the hell? Ow, 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 ow. God dang it. So for those of you who are just joining me in this playthrough, um, we're not friends with these guys. Um, they, Caesar's Legion is really not a fan of me. Um, which is fine. I'm not really worried about being their friend. They kind of suck. Oh. Oh, he's resisting my gun. That's right. Oh, God. I got to change my weapon. Hold on. I don't know what to use. Oh, let's try this. Reload, you ding dong. Let's see what happens. Night spoon. <sighs> I'm not usually an FPS player, so don't judge me if my aim is weird. Uh. God dang it! I had like a seventy percent chance of that working. Oh, is he blocking these shots too? Coughing fit? Who's having a coughing fit? Boom! God dang it! Why'd you get domed in the peanut, bud? Now I gotta do this myself. You like that? Is my dog okay? I'm gonna scream if my dog is not okay. Ow! How dare you make me bleed my own blood? Ow, ah, god dang it. I don't think this weapon is working. Hold on. Let's try... I know they're resisting my armor, so I don't know what I should be using. Ooh. Oh, but I don't have any grenades left. Um. Mm, matter modulator. Oh, hold on, I gotta heal. Ugh. <laughs> I love that I'm like, hi, sorry, just give me a minute. I gotta I gotta heal myself real quick. Um shoot, I gotta buy more medication. Shoot, I'm I've become addicted. Oh, God, that's not good. Can I take Mentats for that? What do you take to be unaddicted? Boone, I need you to... Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm getting stuck on a rock. Ow. Eee! Um... I wanted stim packs, not medex. I messed up. Fixer is the drug. Thank you. Okay. Permanently remove them. You need to see a doctor. Well, thankfully, I have doctor friends. I need more stim packs. All right. I need a weapon that's actually going to hurt this guy. I don't know if I have any weapons that. What? Okay, serious question. What weapons hurt the legions? Because it seems like every weapon I pull out, they resist. Is it only melee weapons that hurt them? Because I'm not built to be melee. It's been forever since I played Fallout. I've never played it, so I'm sorry if I ask dumb questions. I don't know what I'm doing. My gun stats are just too low. Oh. All right. They're hurt by energy or plasma. I was trying that earlier and it didn't work, but my energy stats also very not good. Explosives are effective. I don't think I have any, unfortunately. So I guess let's just go with the big boy. Hopefully Boone will reanimate because I really need him to be alive right now. Ooh. Actually, try and go for the legs. I don't think that's working. Ow. I think I'm gonna die. Which might. Oh, I was crouched. Eh. 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 Oh, critical strike. Thank God. All right. I'm just super hurt. Uh, goo pile. Yum yum.
White horse nettle? I don't want that. Boone, are you dead? Where are you, buddy? Boone is unconscious. <gasps> oh, I got scared that was the dog. Oh, I got scared that was my dog. Uh, ooh, false grenade. Where is my dog? <gasps> there you are. Good boy, I love you. Mwah. Assassins are super tanky, so until you have very strong weapons and high weapons skills, you'll just struggle. Bought it. Thank you. Um, all right. I'm gonna... Because I just found that caravan location, right? Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go back to the doctors and get them to heal me up and then i'm gonna buy a bunch of their wares because i'm also oh i'm like super dead <laughs> i am i am hanging on by a thread that's not good <laughs> oh i should have grabbed the ripper shouldn't i oops it's the freaking rodent i'm gonna you know what kid i'm gonna let you chase that until you get bored where's uh no, doctor sexy not. lady hello Great to see you again. I'm hurt. Do you sell medical supplies? We're pretty well, I need... Dang it. I need services. I got a chem problem. A comment. This will help. Thank you. Oh, gross. Anything else? Uh, addiction's removed. Awesome. I sure. need a stim pack. You'll need to wait another. God dang it. We don't. You don't have any. Oh, you do have stim packs. Cool. I'm gonna take all of them. I'm not hurting for money, so it's fine. Thank you. Ooh, I have sold ten thousand items. Thanks, Julia. Bye. Mm -hmm. The easiest way to deal with an enemy is to hit them until they die. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, what the hell? Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? Oh, thank you. I still think it's it's still very mafia adjacent to have them send their lackeys to give you stuff. <laughs> Ooh. Medex just worn off. Yeah, I didn't mean to take that. I meant to take the stim pack. I forgot what did what. I need to save. Oh, God. I, I'm sorry if saving a lot is annoying to you all. But you have to understand. I've had this game crash, I think, so far a total of six or seven times, maybe? Something like that. That's true. They are nice and they're not trying to kill me. I need to not... Oh, God. I have to heal myself still. I need to get myself some, um... What's it called? Sarsaparilla drink. No, what the hell? What the hell is that thing? Cazador? Huh? Ew! Uh! Why is it- why is it always bugs? Why is it always bugs? I hate... I hate the apocalypse! Everything just is bugs. And I hate that so much. I hate that so much. God dang it. I have to take another stim pack, which I really don't want to do. Those are the super death bugs we told you about. Are those like a one-shot kill type situation? Are they super duper bad news? I think this is the road I want. Oh, <gasps> I was right. I'm good at directions now. I'm a genius. Look at me. I'm so smart. There we go. Okie dokie. It's so dark. I hate this. There's so many reasons why they suck. I don't think I want to know. Which super death bug? What do you mean? Don't you dare tell me there's more than one. Don't you dare. <laughs> Not one shot, but they hit hard and poison you. This is why y'all been telling me to get all those anti-venoms. Okay. 
they're extremely annoying. Are they annoying like cliff, cliff racers and more wind annoying? Or is it a different type of annoying? Flying poison dispensers. <laughs> I don't like this pass at all. Can I say this right now? I think this mountain pass is extremely sketchy. I'm just waiting for someone to pop out from the cliffs and try and gut me. <laughs> yes! Annoying, annoying. Oh, God. Don't get me wrong. I Morrowind is a very interesting game. It's so hard to recommend exclusively because of the freaking cliff racers. <laughs> you don't know. Cliff racers are these, like, pterodactyl birds that typically fly around mountains. I want to fight that. Why is it red? Getting a fight with a bull. Leave me alone. Sorry. Uh, cliff racers are basically like these pterodactyl things that will just chase you to the ends of the earth, and they're a huge pain in the butt to hit because of like the dice roll damage system. And sometimes there'll be like eight of them chasing you. It sucks. It's they're the worst. <laughs> oh, smart with the with the Kaza Kazador. Just aim for the wings. That's actually very helpful advice. Thank you. Wild adult bighorners are angry and attack you if you get too close. That's the thing. I thought as long as I stay away, they'll sort of leave me be. I'm sorry. Did you say this looks like Deathclaw territory? Why? Why? Why would you say that? What do you mean? Azador means hunter in Spanish. Oh, good. So they're just like extra bad. <laughs> I didn't know that. Thank you for that little language lesson. Spain without the S. Oh yeah, no, St. Jube, I I feel like I loved his inclusion in Skyrim, but I feel like so few people knew who he was. <laughs> Deathclaws like mountains? Why? God dang it, you got me scared of a bunch of cows. Alright, we're just gonna take this trip nice and slow. So I don't want to run into anything that gets super PO'd. I had no idea who he was, but I did his quest anyway. I... it's funny, I don't think I've ever done his quest. <laughs> it's a huge... if you don't know, St. Jube is in Skyrim. During the Dawnguard quest line, you have to go into the Soul Cairn, which is the realm of... Oh, Christ. No, you're not what's upset. <laughs> gross. Gross, gross, gross. Gross, gross, gross. Where the hell? Thank you, dog. I love you, Rex. Sorry. Um, the Soul Cairn is the realm where... Um... Oh, wait. This doesn't have any weight. I'll just take it. Where souls go when they're put into soul gems. And you meet St. Jube, who is the spirit of a dark elf from Morrowind. And you... In the game Morrowind, he's one of the prisoners on the prisoner ship that you're on when you get delivered to the island of Vardenfelm. And he's just the guy who's like, hey, welcome. Who, who are you? What's your name? All that jazz. No, not even. That's, that's the um, Imperial guy. St. Jube is just like, welcome, you sucker. Uh, and then between between Morrowind and Skyrim, Jube made it his life's mission to attack to eradicate every cliff racer on the island of Vardenfell, and he became a saint. And then somehow ended up in the Soul Cairn and wrote a bunch of books. And the whole quest is about getting him books. And I hate fetch quests like that, especially because the Soul Cairn sucks. I hate having to navigate it. I like Saint Jube, but not enough to do that quest. It's just the worst. <laughs> His poetry is mid. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is a reference that maybe three people will know. Um, if you want good poetry, skip on freaking Vivek. He's too full of himself. Go for those Ashlander poetry collections. Those are straight fire. They are very good. There's like two or three of them. That, that's like actual poetry. I don't like this. Everything wants to eat me. 
I go to the cane for vampire waifu and our back. <laughs> yeah, I I don't even do that quest line a lot. Like the Arvac Arvac as a spell is too good to to pass up. But I basically I will go to the Soul Cairn only once and then never return. And I know you can return at any time, but like why on earth would I do that? It sucks. Speaking of sucks, why on earth would you live in this mountain range? I guess the cold weather will keep some stuff out. You look bad. Someday, I miss being Is Jacobstown a super mutant enclave? That I did not expect. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around. Um, now I understand why they, they set up a town here. Now I get it. Laura, people live in Nevada. That's not nice. <laughs> um. Okay, yeah, let's start with, are there any rules I need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Okay. Uh, what's wrong with the Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. Oh, that's nice. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Interesting. Uh, why do super mutants dislike the NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. Anything else you can tell me about the NCR? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Interesting. Do you have any dealings with New Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Honestly, I'm with him on that. It's so hard to make money. Why would you then gamble it all away? They expand. Fast. If you've got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west? They'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. I like Marcus. So far, he seems pretty even keeled. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. Marcus was a companion in Fallout 2. Oh! Well, that's fun that they, like, bring him... I like that a lot as, like, a little Easter egg. I, I So far, I like him. He's got a good vibe to him. I think it's, you know, live and let live kind of vibe. Also, I keep forgetting that it's Kaisar's Legion. And it's kind of interesting to me that somehow these people figured out how we think Latin sounded, and they maintained that information post-apocalypse. <laughs> Kept the same voice actor? I love that. I really, I do have a lot of respect for that. Um, I have some other questions about Jacobstown. Such as? What's the history? It was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. How does the town support itself? Bighorners. Good eating. And we can trade the hides. Got a lot of wild ones around here, so it's easy to restock the herd. Oh. I don't know if this is true. You don't have to confirm it. But all I can think is it'd be really nice to get them a trade deal with the Crimson Caravan. I don't love the Crimson Caravan. They're definitely, like, a little shady. But, um, 
I think this seems like a pretty good solution, right? Obviously, Nightkin are horrifying, and we've seen how they can cause damage. So it's nice to, like, create an environment where mutants can be, like, safe and welcome and healthy. So, like, might as well make that more self-sustaining because that benefits everyone in the wasteland, right? If all the mutants have their own paradise ascent, like, I know it's not a perfect place, right? But they have a place they can go to. That could probably cut down on a lot of conflict. I feel like it benefits everyone to establish trade with this town, you know? I want to know about you. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town. Walk the wasteland with the tribal. Now I'm here. Super mutant army? Long story, so here's the short version. The master created the super mutants and nightkin. The master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. You were the mayor? Town was broken hills. Bunch of super mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Tell me more about the tribunal. Oh, the tribal, sorry. We were looking for a get to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually, we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. I'm guessing the friend is the player character. Kaiser sounds like the German word. Um, yes. So, um... I studied Latin for a bit, and based on at least what my professors said, um, the understanding is that Julius Caesar was more likely pronounced Julius Caesar, um, and potentially that's where the German word came from, but I don't know enough German to know etymology of that kind. Um, another fun fact about Latin, is that I believe the theory is that V was actually pronounced more like a W. So there's that famous like Vidi Vidi Vici, we came, we saw, we conquered. It was probably pronounced Witty Witty Wiki, but that doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> so no one wants to say it like that. I'm looking for Dr. Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. Okay. See you. Thanks, Marcus. I'm gonna be honest, I hated this place. Getting here sucked, but it's pretty nice here. Language, a funny thing. Language is extremely fickle. <laughs> Better watch out. Lily's been babbling about those grandkids again. Who's Lily? Should I be scared? <laughs> that a vault suit? No, that's not a vault suit. That's like a wastelander outfit. Um, here's a door. Me, mom, you no, no. <laughs> really? Another human. One was enough. Mean? Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Oh, he's a nightkin. I don't want to, but I don't want to bug him. He doesn't seem very fond of me. Can't read your computers. That's fine. I hope it will snow later. Um. I have a question. Um, how did super mutants get made? Were they a, po a product of the apocalypse or were they a product of... Because he was talking about the master. So they were they like manufactured by someone? I'm an old hat at the game. I might need your help. I actually probably will because I keep messing everything up. <laughs> Thank you for hopping in. I appreciate it. That virus, so what the hell is that? Alive. But, the, you know, this is actually really nice that the knight can have a place to, like, essentially, um, what's the word? Heal from their addiction? Forced evolutionary virus? Well, that sounds horrifying. Oh, here's the doctor. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh, <laughs> sorry, this sentence is really funny to me. Something's wrong with my cyber dog. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. I don't... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, the US Army was experimenting with creating super soldiers and biological weapons. The Master used this to create the super mutant army. Got it. You can always play Fallout 1 and find out. Uh, maybe I will play the whole Fallout franchise. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know how well Fallout run... Because isn't Fallout 1 from like the 1990s? How well would it run? 
Um. Uh. Well, well, well let's first. Uh. Uh. Why? Why is he here amongst a bunch of super mutants? I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Don't know if I completely follow that logic, but I guess you know what? If you're if you're just trying to do a bunch of science and you don't want anyone to bother you, um, it kind of makes sense to be in the middle of an enclave full of people who are literally superhuman. That does kind of track. <laughs> it runs very fast. Oh, it does run well? Huh. Maybe I'll check it out. Doggerson, thank you for stopping in. I hope work treats you well. The GOG version should be optimized to work better on modern systems. Oh, thank you for that pro tip. Uh, what are you a scientist about? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Sorry, quick, quick question. Who's the Enclave? They're not the Brotherhood of the Apocalypse, who I'm friends with. Which is the Enclave? Jubanda, hello. Welcome in. When it came to follow history, I just watched YouTube videos. Yeah, when I was going into this playthrough, I knew I basically had two options. And that was either to like read the lore or um, go in not knowing anything. And I figured it'd be a fun experience to go in not knowing anything. But in retrospect, maybe I should have started chronologically. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The Enclave is like what the US government turned into. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you are with the Enclave. Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Also, yeah, canine neuroscience? Why are you studying that specifically? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. Uh, what are you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working Stealth Boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Um, I'd be happy to help. You know, I'm I'm down to give it a try. Um. Sorry, Twitch is giving me a little alert. Give me a second. I'm going to take a... Qu oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> knocking myself over. I'm going to take a quick minute to reset my desk. I have a standing desk, and I like to stand during stream, but I'm going to sit. So if y'all don't mind, I'm going to just run a quick one-minute ad. I run this so you don't get hit with them when things are happening. So if you're not a subscriber, there's going to be ads running, but I promise I'm literally just going to be moving my desk, and we will get back to this when it's done running. Um... Very sorry, but I will be back soon. Ba, 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 ba. If I can find my button. Wow. Where are you? Where? Where are you? There you are. Okay. Meow. Sorry. <laughs> Hit me with the ad break. But again, if you're if you're a subscriber, how well subscribers and future YouTube follow viewers. <laughs> Hold on. Can you all hear this? Can you hear this happening? You probably see it happening, but <laughs> don't mind me. Ugh. Ugh. Sorry, a smidge. Okay, I'm like it does have a the, the rotor's kind of loud, which I feel bad about. Rotor. Oh my god, rotor. God. I do love having an adjustable desk though. It's very good for my health. It's actually been great while I use my iPad. Um, because <laughs> I don't want to like be a little shrimp, so sometimes I will just raise my desk up really high so like my iPad is almost at eye level. It's not ideal for, like, wrist ergonomics, but it's better for my posture. <laughs> I like seeing your model dip a bit. Yeah, it's very awkward because there's a period of me just, like, doing a really intense squat. <laughs> but I will say, I think this is one of my favorite purchases, was getting an adjustable desk. So thank you for letting me take that quick break. Um, um, it, I, I, I like... Oh, my hands are upset. Why? I like take I like standing during chunks of stream just so I'm not sitting all day because I live a very sedentary lifestyle. So thank you. Sorry, my hand is upset with me. I'm fixing it. Uh, yeah, Zane, uh, you can totally ping me. I forgot to tell you. I forgot that you forgot. <laughs> Feel free to ping me about it. I don't hate the ad because the song is this VR headset ad kind of slaps. 
like I've said, if it was possible, I would love to choose which ads run, but I understand why that's very difficult. Having a standing desk is definitely helpful. Seriously, all um, they're pretty. They're, they're, I mean, I'm not gonna say a standing desk is affordable, but at IKEA, they're they're pretty affordable. Um, so I honestly kind of recommend it if you have if you have the budget for it. If you actually quick sidebar, if you're in the U.S. Uh, and you have a home office, I believe you can write off home office upgrades on your taxes. I am not a tax professional, so don't quote me on that. Talk to somebody who's like an actual CPA, but I think you can like put that as like a office expense. So check that out. Anyway, let's keep talking to the Dr. Henry. Uh, yeah, I want to help. Because if I can make Nikon not want to murder me, that, that, that behooves everyone, right? <laughs> I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one. And I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Oh, no. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big harness to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Okay, so I thought I was going to be his guinea pig. I didn't realize he w his, his request was to go into the den of Night Stalkers. Don't love that. You can, I have before, my degree in tax accounting was useful for that at least. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, I was going to say, don't take tax event information from a dog girl on the internet, but <laughs> thank you, Wiggles. I was like, I'm pretty sure you can do that. So if you if you have like $500 to throw around, standing desk, I personally feel it has been very worth it though. Uh, what I miss? And hello, we just got to Jacobstown and I'm going to try and fix my dog. Dog girl seemed trustworthy. No, I... <laughs> I have to say this, like, legally, right? This is for legal purposes to protect myself. <laughs> Always check with the professional. I am not a tax... We've talked about how I'm bad at math. Don't trust me when it comes to math. <laughs> Iris, why did you commit tax fraud? Person on the internet. Oh, girl, said a thing. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't want to be... I don't want to be liable for that. <laughs> Can't wait for the doing my taxes stream. No, I hate... Ugh. I, so, I've only ever done my taxes because I don't have CPA money. And uh, fun fact, if you earn under a certain amount of money, your taxes are completely free. So why would I spend money when I can just spend five hours crying and Googling? <laughs> I think this year I'm probably gonna need to get an accountant though, because I have like so many different income streams now. It's all very weird. I am a professional dog girl. That's the only thing I'm qualified in though. <laughs> Take all of your tax-related questions to dog girl on the internet. Got it. Oh, my God. <laughs> no. Um, what makes you think the Night Stalker mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Why do I have a sneaking suspicion that the Enclave has something to do with this? I don't know why. I just feel like it sounds like these Night Stalkers maybe had something funky happen. Don't tell me. We'll find out together. Uh, why are you helping the Nightkin? Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. You know, I can't argue with that logic. Professional dog girl and dimension hopper. <laughs> Uh, why is the Stealth Boy Mark II riskier? The Stealth Field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. Mm. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject, and Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Got it. That makes sense. Does Stealth Boy use hurt humans? It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikin. Interesting. Uh, but also my dog's brain is hurt. Can you fix it? It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak. Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. 
There could be viable specimens among them if you can get to them. Uh, so I totally have this brain that I don't have the technology to keep cold on ice, but it's just like in my pocket. <laughs> Very well. Show. I took it from a fiend dog named Violetta. Big brain on this one. All right, let's see. Damn, heavy amounts of the chemicals used in the drug Turbo are present. Transplanting this brain will make Rex faster than he was before. Oh. Wait, so you can kid out your dog with different buffs depending on which dog brain you get? As a dog, doesn't this, like, spook you? Tweak out my dog! <laughs> no, because in this case, Rex is, is part dog, right? So he's just living longer. Uh, yeah, transplant Violetta's brain into Rex, please. Have a seat. Unshakable tracker. Rex has gained the unshakable tracker perk, increasing his movement speed. Wow. That's interesting. There's three brains and they all have different buffs. <gasps> How you doing, buddy? How you doing? Do you like your new brain? Yo, good boy. I love you. Yes. Hello. Is there something else I can do for you? I'm surprised he just did that without wanting anything in return. What the hell is this? Wait. Night Stalker? That's not what I thought. I thought a Night Stalker was a super mutant. What the hell is this? It's a lizard dog? Did somebody put a lizard head on a dog body? Give that old boy some more bacon. <laughs> Rattlesnake? Why is that worse? Howdy. Howdy. Calamity. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. So a nice stalker is a coyote rattlesnake. Was that an apocalypse thing? Or was that a funky wonky science thing? Uh, what do you do here, Jane? Most of the time, I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. Once the, uh... in a while, I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. I'm sorry, what do you mean the, uh... What do you mean the, uh... You have an interesting name. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it... Sounded nice. Never really uh -huh. done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. That's a really interesting approach to... Immortality. Funky wonky science thing. <laughs> Thank you for confirming. Jose, hello, how are you? Uh, okay, um... Oh, you repair things. Uh, does anyone other than super mutants come up this way? Prospectors looking for salvage, usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Hmm. All right. We have for sale. Fixing things. I'll take it. Thank you. Sure. Nuka Cola, pack of cigarettes, Radex, Rebound, Stim Pack. Ooh, I don't want that many. Um, Wasteland Doctor Fatigues. And then I have stuff I want to sell. Um, I should fix up my guns. Oh, I kind of need armor, y'all. My armor is bad. Wasteland Surgeon outfit? I don't need that. Oh, med plus five? I still don't really need that, do I? Joni, thank you for the follow. Yeah, I'm loaded because I want to have money at all times. No spend, only, only save. How much is sexy sleepwear? Two? Two bottle caps for pristine condition lace? Are you joking me? Absolute clownery right here. Um, 
Boopy doop, boop, boopy doop, boop, boopy doop, boop. Thank you for the head hats. I don't want to deal with addictions again, so I'm gonna sell all of these. Oh, hold on. I'm exceeding the caps limit. Dang it. How do I undo that? Oh, this is clearly an old band t-shirt with holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> oh well i oh god oh wait no hold on i'm giving 977 caps right am i okay i'm doing this wrong <gasps> bonnie yeah okay i confused myself hold on i will be right back i'm gonna go get changed uh i have a bunny suit so please bear with me i'll be back in pff, like two minute like like two minute i will be right back thank you for bunny I just need to find myself. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Sorry, that took longer than I expected. Also, Sugar Daddy, hello. Thank you for the five gift subs. I'm so sorry. I was I was getting myself changed. Thank you so much for that. That was extremely kind of you. <laughs> Welcome in. Hello. Um, also, Alroy. Yes, I would I actually would love DLC warnings. Um, because I want to do DLC after them. Oh wait, no, I can't do DLC after the main story. People were telling me that. Ugh. If I'm about to walk into a quest that I'm too weak for, please let me know. Because that's fine. Bonnie dog bounces in. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Sorry, I ran into a little tech issue for a second there. Just VTuber things. Okay, cool. I can keep selling my garbage. That's right. I'm good. Okay, good, good, good. I want to keep those. Explosives? The Patriots cookbook is an explosives book. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Um, I don't want a stealth boy. Don't want sugar bombs. Don't want turbo. I got so many books now. This is amazing. Beep 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 beep. Uh cool, that's everything. I wanna do that. Thank you. Doing I'll repair my stuff. Can you repair my armor? Because my armor hurt. 200 caps? Uh... Oh no! I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh god. <laughs> I'm not trying to threaten you. I'm trying to change my clothes. I want to wear these. I also want to get all my weapons fixed up. They're all a mess. Won't I need a stealth boy? Oh. Oops. Uh, you are almost certainly correct. <laughs> God dang it. I will have to buy that back. Oops. Fiction things. Repair items in your inventory yourself. Yeah, of course I'm gonna do it myself. I'm cheap. Never pay money for what you can do yourself. Uh -huh. Cool, I've gotten rid of all my repeat weapons. I don't want to do mods. I'm scared to do mods. Um, I should have my armor repaired while I'm here. Yeah. Flamity! Hey. Hey there. I need you to fix my armor for me, please. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so I'm gonna have to buy that stealth boy back for this quest, right? Let's see. Uh Oh wait, let me ask Lily for help. Hold on, let me go meet Mil let me let me let me let me go meet Lily and see what Lily has to say. Lily inside or outside? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> nice bunny suit. <laughs> Thank you for the, the tip. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is a, a bunny suit. Um. I have no idea what's going on, but I'll act like I do. A 
the boss. Thank you for the 17 months rescub. Hold on, my what do you mean you don't recognize my controller? It's right freaking here. Hello? 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 There we go. Jeez. Um, where is Lily? Is Lily inside? Or outside? Nope, wrong button. Oh god, I do need my glasses on. Thank you. I can't see anything. <laughs> wait, wait. This is my jump button. Hold on. The map will tell me... Lily is outside. Hold on. Did I take my armor off? I did. I was naked. Okay. <laughs> oh, the Nikon who I thought was wearing a vault suit. That makes sense. Where? That's Boone. Boone's track path and got confused. Are you Lily? Hello. Jimmy. Little Jimmy. My, how you're grown up. So good of you to come visit your grandma. Um. Who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. I'm going to be completely honest right now. I do not know what giving some sugar means. I've heard it used before. It's just a hug, right? Kisses? I don't want to kiss grandma. You know what? Okay, I'm Jimmy. I'm... Uh, what do you do in Jacobstown? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But sometimes they get ornery. Just like my grandkids. I'm looking into the Nightstalker mutation. Want to come along with me? Oh, no, dearie. Three makes a crowd. Oh, she's like straight up a follower. Okay. Um, I have to get rid of Boone for her to join me, right? Come in, Clara's dressed like a Galarian trainer. <laughs> no, she's dressed like a bun girl. I have a third outfit, um, where I'm a cyber dog. For my for Halloween, I was like a cyberpunk aesthetic thing. Boone or Rex? Um I do love Rex, but Boone's sniper is extremely useful. So Rex, I love you. Um. <gasps> happy bird, yes. How are you feeling, buddy? I am so happy. Oh my God, you're delightful. I'm very happy to hear this. Oh, it has to be Boone? Lily's humanoid. Oh, I misunderstood. Okay. Um. Okay, cool. Rex, you're staying, Boone. Uh, goodbye. What is it? Bye. <laughs> is that? Yeah, that's what I think. Right. I don't hate you, Boone. Guess God, I just... Oh, okay. You just, dis you just fully disappeared. That's fine. Hello. Hello again, dear. Stalkers always carrying my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. Ooh, stealth girl perk. What the hell is the stealth girl perk? Ooh! What the hell? Did, did, did Lily just take a stim a stealth pack? How do I see my stealth girl? When Lily is a companion, the duration of stealth will be increased by 200%. All sneak critical hits do an additional 10 damage. 10%? You don't actually have to stealth this quest? He was a ghost all along? Okay, so, um... I do have a question that I would like an answer to. Do I need a stealth boy for this quest? Should I buy that back? Meemaw Lily really is helpful, huh? Wait. Oh, interesting. Ortel, thank you for the follow. Hello. Welcome in. Recommended, but not necessary. All right, let's just try it without, I guess. Um, where am I going? Charleston Cave. Okay. First, I'm going to save. Hi, hi. Hello, the courier. Zimmy, hello. 
All right, we're gonna save because I don't want my game to crash and to lose all this progress. Wow, 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 wow. Is there a back door to this place? There's gotta be. Nope, I am in Jacobstown. There's gotta be like a side path. But Jacobstown is pretty nice. Like, considering this is the post-apocalypse, this is a pretty nice place. You know, I think it's nice that uh, Marcus set this all up for people. Am I wrong? Because it looked like there was a path. Uh, I guess... I was wrong. That locked house was my favorite piece of environmental storytelling. Well, now I gotta know. <laughs> I gotta know what's in there. Hold up, this one? Can't just drop that nugget of information and then not tell me. I can always just load a save, but I gotta know. Open for mama. There we go. No tumbler fumbler. I got an achievement. Um. Oh, God. Lily's little invisible body freaked me out. We got some ruined books. We got an empty suitcase. We got a lot of empty suitcases. We got a bed. Interesting that none of this is considered stealing. Bunch of bottles. Coffee mugs. Bathroom. Hello, me. Um. Broken paintings. Oh, hey, it's one of those dino toys. Ooh, service rifle. Sure. You're not using it. Right? No one's... No one's using this, right? It's not this one, it's the other. Oh, now I feel bad for stealing. Alright, hold on. <laughs> let me... Let me reload. <laughs> it's one of the other ones? Alright, well... I think this is the only other one with a door. Oh, I don't even have to break in. Oh, no! Um, that's not good. That's a whole body. Oh, fancy bottle cap. Let's see. What game were you playing? That is... Nope. Um... A three of diamonds, a jack of diamonds, a king of diamonds, a five of clover, and eight of spades. And this was... Five king... How do you get five kings? Hold on. There's only five, four kings. Was this a bunk deck? Yeah, right. Look, I don't know much about card games. That's why he's dead on the floor. <laughs> Homeboy, don't be cheating. Oh, these all empty. You just have nothing but alcohol in here? Not even a sunset sarsa perilla? Come on. Bring it. It's just all booze. Oh, it's interesting. This is like a bunch of different... I guess this was a place where people would play games together. But why did they just leave a rotting decomposing corpse in here? Why did no one say, hey, what happened to that guy? Like... They're all the same suit. That's why I'm confused, right? So, so here, you have to understand, I really don't play card games a lot. There's only one card of each suit, right? So it should be one king of diamond, one king of heart, one king of spade, one king of clover, right? Okay. I was like, this doesn't... <laughs> that is a really fun... I actually... Thank you for letting me know about this. I would not have gone in there otherwise. I appreciate that. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, I looked at the other hand. The other hand seemed legitimate, I think. I don't know. There's six diamond kings. Yeah, the other hand seemed fair. I can go back and look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was normal. Ooh, what is this? Nuka-Cola victory. That's pretty expensive. 
Oh, wait, but that's stealing. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I stole your drink. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not a thief. Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. How have they been harassing the town? Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. And you're sure they work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. You know, I haven't actually looked in Cliff Briscoe's house before. I should do that. It's not red, so you're morally okay. Awesome. Okay, that makes me feel way better. Uh, what do you want me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Yeah, you guys, you're nice. Uh, where's the human? There they are. Unfriendly persuasion. Well, good thing I have a busted charisma stat. <laughs> That's the only thing I can do well. <laughs> Truly the only thing I can do well. Okay. Last time I keep played, I beat the game with almost 300k in bottle caps? Oh god, there's a lot of you. Wish the muties would make a move. Getting sick of waiting. Hi, Norton. Our business is with the muties, not you. That feels like a bad word. Oh god dang it. Uh, my speech is so close. Are you joking me? Oh wait, change clothes real quick. Yep. Hold on. If I wear Don't judge me for what I'm about to do. If this gives me a charisma plus 1 if I wear my sexy undies. Um I only need to hit four more charisma points. Um <laughs> I shouldn't have sold. Oh, um. Oh. Alcohol helps. Do I have a meeting, people? I don't. I could go get some alcohol real quick. I don't think he's gonna murder anyone. Yeah, let me go grab some alcohol. Sorry. You need for speech. One point in charisma is quite a few points worth. Wait, hold on. I'm not... I thought I had a higher charisma stat. My charisma... St oh, hold on. You know what? Let me look at... I might be using the wrong language here. Let's look at my stats. My charisma is eight. That's right. I'm so sorry. It's been a minute since I played. My charisma is eight. My speech stat is currently 62 and i need my speech stat to be 65 so if i grab some alcohol uh it's gonna be in the other one with the poker well actually i don't know i don't know what that <laughs> i don't know what that card game is supposed to be is that poker no, it's only two people playing. I, I've i never played poker before. <laughs> I've played gin rummy, but I've never played poker. All right, charisma plus one, charisma plus one. That would get me to 64. Cool, so I... Could you imagine... Could you imagine... I need to paint a scene for you all really quickly. You roll up to an enclave. It doesn't stack. No. Uh. Even if I drink different drinks? Because I was going to just get all sexy-like. I was going to be like, look at me, yoo-hoo, and be super drunk and convince this guy to leave us alone. No, is that not going to work? No. Different alcohols don't stack. God dang it. Two scotch just extends the duration. Oh, because it's charisma, not speech. Gah. All right, I have to do it his way. God dang it. Oh, if I do the cave mission first, I'll level up. They're not going to do anything funky while I'm gone, right? They're not going to go bothering no one. I hope. 
there's the way out this way you're safe cool because i sometimes quests will have a timer they'll stay there forever okay perfect close your eyes frustrated clara dial up modem sounds you decide <laughs> Um, all right, I'm gonna save again. I'm sorry. I just I look trust me the game has crashed I don't want that to happen, but if it does I want to be prepared Any clothes with speech bonuses lying around town? I kind of doubt it. I guess I could go rummaging Um, but I kind of doubt it. I don't imagine super mutants are really Buying lots of clothes Where's your pit boy on my arm? Yeah on my left arm is this the path I want to take? Yeah, okay, I'm just gonna go up here. Hello, Vumph. Oh, well. Oh, I should be not barreling through the wilderness. I mean, your Pip-Boy. Isn't the Pip-Boy the, the little arm gauntlet thing? Uh, hello? Rex, why are you barking? Oh, bearded potato. Hello, thank you. Oh, uh, this way. Oh, you mean on my model? I'm going to be real with you. I don't want to have to try doing that in Blender. <laughs> I've mucked around in Blender and that software hurts my brain. <laughs> um, it would actually be really, it would, you know, it would be really fun to make a whole model that's like Fallout inspired, but I'm going to be real with you. That would be so much work. <laughs> Just grab a PNG and put it on your head. Like a VR headset, but a Pip-Boy. <laughs> That would be really funny, actually. Um, I'm gonna get a little stretch in. That was redeemed. Exactly! This looks like the cave. It's a cave of wonders. Wow. All right, I'm gonna stretch real quick. But then we miss out on dog girl forehead. Look, I got hair on the forehead. Am I... It sounds like to me y'all want me to do a model where my hair's out of my forehead and then you just get a big old chrome dome. They usually say don't start any DLC before level 25. Got it. Thank you for that. That's actually extremely helpful to know. Make yourself a little cardboard cutout to peek through. <laughs> oh no, it's dark as hell. I hate this. Rex. Rex, buddy. Oh, you know what? I don't know how sneaky Rex is. Should I? Okay, I have a serious question. Oh, thank you. Should I have Rex wait here? He won't die, but my concern is him tipping us off. You know? <gasps> this isn't a stealth mission? Oh, okay. I thought I could do this peacefully. Oh, but they're dogs. There is no doing this peacefully. Never mind. I'll just... murder them, I guess. It's hard, because how do you detect something that's invisible? I can't. Uh... I don't want to evaporate it because I need its blood. Where is it? I don't... <laughs> I don't have detect life spell. I don't got magic. Where are you? Oh, is it behind? Gotta check all my corners. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma! Thank you, Grandma! Thank you, Grandma! Thank you, Grandma! 
I hate- why do they lay eggs? What do you mean they lay eggs? Why? Oh. This is the worst. I hate this. They're more coyote than snake though, aren't they? What the hell's this? Why is there a body here? No, but there's a bed. Like, somebody came here... for reasons. I could use the... I could use the... the light, but I don't... I guess there's no... sneaking past them, is there? <gasps> Rex! Why are you unconscious, Rex? <gasps> I hate this! <gasps> Thank you, Grandma! My, give me ma so much sugar. Thank you. Uh, Rex, you okay, buddy? Oh my god. There you are, bud. Hey, pupper. Hey there, buddy. Hello. My tummy hurts. I don't like this. <laughs> Rex. Be safe, okay, buddy? Be safe. Be safe. Oh. Ugh. Sorry, is grandma's weapon super loud? I can um adjust the volume if it's bad. Mad Forbes, hello! Hail. Okay. I need a brain, though. Right? Have a nice stalker omelet. I don't want to eat an egg from this thing. Are you kidding? That sounds gross as hell. X. You don't smell it? Is that grandma? That's grandma. God dang it. I can't do this. God. Can't do this. I hate this. You should find out why they can turn invisible. Okay, so I just gotta explore their little lair. For it. <laughs> grandma, you scared me, Grandma. Not tired, Grandma. God. I'm just gonna let Rex and Lily take point, because I'm useless. I can't see nothing. What? Why is there a sound? Oh! Hey, look at that! Ha, ha Now I can barter with you fools! I am almighty. Alright, but also, I'm like real bad at guns, though. Um... So I should probably make my guns less bad. Right? Yeah. Lock pickup. Um. Utilizing the greatest power of all. Friendship. <laughs> Just run around while not sneaking. Yeah, you know what? That'll make this faster. Because, like, there's no way I could sneak through this. They have crazy detection. Uh, so let me just turn on my light and go fast. I want to... I have a few more points. Let's... Hmm. Yeah, sometimes I need guns. So you know what? Let me get that up more. And then... Buh. Hey, Clara. <laughs> Congrats on the level up. Are you still focusing on a smart spilled? Hello, 
Kaze, thank you for the 16 months. Yeah, I'm going for like, talk my way out of everything and also do science about it. Uh, an occasional hacky hacky lockpick lockpick. Um, I'll just dump something into science. Um, cause I don't like conflict, but it's looking like I kinda do need some pew pew, so... Oh god, I want animal friendship, but I don't think I can do that... Because... I need something to do that? I would love animal friendship, but I don't remember if I can do it or not. I need survival. That's right. Thank you. We've we've talked about this like every time I'm in the screen and every time I forget. I need a much higher survival than I have. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Gotta go to work. Thank you for hanging, Night Jade. I appreciate it. I hope work treats you well. I really do. I hope it's just an easy day. Ferocious loyalty. Power of your personality inspires diehard loyalty from your followers. When you drop below 50% health. Right. We looked at this. Um, Commando. When using a rifle or similar two-handed weapon, your accuracy is significantly increased. Why did I think this was, if you're naked, you get better defense stats? I... I was going in the wrong direction. <laughs> the companion perks are kind of broken. They don't do a lot. Thank you for that. You know, I'm really mad at myself because I know I had planned what I wanted to grab and I've just completely forgotten. Um... Different, yeah, different kind of commando. <laughs> Oops. Because <laughs> I was thinking, look, I've got this, like, very pristine nightgown. I can do that. <laughs> gunslinger. Uh, what is Gunslinger? I think I might have Gunslinger. Uh, oh! With the Adamantium Skeleton perk, your limbs will only receive 50% of damage they normally would. That feels kind of useful, because I'm pretty squishy. Does that seem like a good idea? I do like Commando. I like using rifles in general. So I'm down for that too. Shotgun Surgeon. I don't like shotguns that much. Oh, here's Gunslinger. Oh, but it's pistol. Yeah, I don't, I don't love pistols. You can fix broken limbs. This is true. It doesn't make you take less damage. It means your won't, bones won't break as much. Oh, shotgun surgeon's the start of a fun broken build. I'm not a huge shotgun or pistol person. I'm definitely more of a rifle fan. So I do like this as an option. Um, I like commando. I think I'm gonna choose commando. The only downside is it only works with specific guns. Oh, weren't we gonna do the here and now perk? Or we did, did we decide against this one? Immediately grants an ex additional experience level, complete with all advantages that brings. Robotics expert, what does that do? With the robotics expert perk, you do an additional 25% damage to any robot. That's right, I remember this one. If you can sneak up on a robot while undetected, you can basically permanently shut it down here and now is bad got it thank you for letting me know thank you for the hydrate too shotguns i don't like because it requires close combat and i don't like conflict i need to sneak up on them that's true my sneak's only like 30 right now so maybe not maybe as a future perk um I'm gonna redownload Fallout 4. Have fun! 25% <laughs> damage is still good. Oh, that's true. That is true. But I've only seen robots in like one place so far. It's only, you know what? I'm actually gonna go for Commando because I. Oh, I also die. I get I get hurt a lot. No, but that no. Um Yeah, you know, what? I'm going to grab Commando cuz I like rifle. And I'm also not going for like an ideal build. I don't mind if I end up grabbing stuff that's not ideal. That's fine. All right. Let's go on a murder rampage. Pew 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 pew. Save. 
I'm gonna save real quick. With some locations in DLC, there's lots of robots. Bought it. Where are we? Oh, God. So we just fixed Rex. We're at Jacobstown. I should update my stream title. <gasps> that sounds bad. That sounds bad. That is bad. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, Rex. What a boy. What are you, who is Leo? Lily, who the hell is Leo? Lily, you gotta, gotta, gotta explain. Gotta explain. Yeah, mine's more of a charisma build, but I need, oh, I need guns for the Legion sometimes. What the hell? Heartless? Um, hello. Thank you for the 30 gift subs. How are you today? <laughs> Thank you. The, the sub goal at the bottom is a monthly thing. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Happy holidays to you too. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> That's extremely kind of you and I'm very, very grateful. Thank you so much. Heck. God. Oh, did I slip up and do a swear? I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they've been eating a stealth boy? Interesting. Sorry. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I hope you're well, Heartless. You don't stop in and do such nice things and then just bounce. And I, I'm so grateful, but I hope you're well. Check out the sledgehammer. Huh? Oh, baby. 6,000 caps? Huh? Oh, it's big. Oh, baby. <laughs> Uncle Hark could do a little swear. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. <laughs> that just freaking caught me off guard. <laughs> God, this is freaking so nice. Jeez. This cave's very pretty. You gonna make a home in it? Why would I choose to live in the place with coyote snakes? Why would I do that? Okay, do I just have to get out of here now? Exhaust Lily's... Okay, thank y'all. I will do that. Hello, Lily. Hello again, dear. Let's talk about your tactics. Oh, I have some questions about you. Such a curious little munchkin, aren't you? <laughs> I'm a munchkin. <laughs> that's true. Soapy, that's kind of my that's kind of my philosophy. I got I get one F bomb per PG thirteen stream. <laughs> what? <laughs> um tell me about yourself. Oh, someone wants to hear mm, Thank you. Would you like to hear? Uh, who's Leo? Leo is a very bad man, Pumpkin. Yes, you are, Leo. Don't try to deny it. He tells me to do things. Terrible things. And sometimes the medicine isn't enough to keep him quiet. Oh, well, that's insensitive. You use a voice in your head. That's not very nice. That's not the nice way to phrase that. There's no one there. Well, of course there is, dearie. How else can I hear him tell me? Got it. Oh. Where'd you get that sword? This old thing. Oh, I scavenged it off a wreck in Klamath. Leo showed me how to make it all ready for chopping. Didn't you, Leo? What? Oh, wait. Um. What's the. Uh, bit? Oh. Where did you come from? I grew up in Vault 17. I never even saw the sun until I was 75 years old. That was when super mutants raided the vault and carried a lot of us off. Yes, Leo, I'm getting to that part. They made me one, and they put me to work in an army that was going to conquer California. Oh, so she was a human, a vault human. That's a rough adjustment. You were a soldier? A spy, sometimes an assassin. I killed a lot of folks for the master. Yes, Leo, you helped too. 
What happened then? That wicked old master got what was coming to him, that's what. After his cathedral blew up, I decided it was high time to go home. I think that's everything. What well, that's really freaking sad. That's Fallout 1 lore. Got it. So, she... was just a normal human in a vault. The master broke into the vault. Oh my god, I remember how the master broke into the vault, stole everyone, experimented on them, made them join his army. And when they overthrew the master, she ended up moving out here. Oh, weird. Um... This was the way in? No. This room was how I got in here. There was a skeleton this way. Oh, well, that's pretty. This way? And yeah! Look at me, I'm a genius! I did it! Aha! I'm so smart. Slurpy slurp the nice stalker eggs. I don't want to eat them, I'm going to sell them. Mutants were former humans. The master made the first batch, and the other mutants, now being left sterile, use what remains to replenish their numbers. Oh, well, that's messed up. Kanan, hello! Hey, but I'm so smart. See, I told you. I can be decent with directions. I can. I just... The, 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 the... Figuring out where to go here is very confusing sometimes. Use that TMNT ooze on them. So, humans were fed an ooze to become like that. You know what? Dunked in ooze? That's even more upsetting. That's just not good. You'll learn more if you play three. Sounds like I might just have to play through the franchise, huh? Alrighty. Let's go to the doctor. Because I, I feel bad. Like, the doctor did brain surgery for free, right? So I kind of feel like I owe him this. Cap, thank you for the ad break. All right, let me get to Doctor. Actually, you know what? I do kind of need to do a little snack break. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have um, <laughs> medically diagnosed bad stomach. Um, so I can't eat big meals. I have to eat lots of small meals, like a little rodent. And <laughs> unfortunately, it is around mealtime for me. So if you don't mind, I'm going to run real quick, take a quick break, stretch my leggies, and grab some leftovers that I have in the fridge. Um, and this game, this game is great because I can snack and we can listen to dialogue together. So everyone, grab yourself a drink, grab yourself a snack, stretch if you're able. I'll be back in about five minutes. Yeah, I'm, I really should have rebranded as a hamster girl, huh? <laughs> you are in a bunny suit. A rabbit meal works. <laughs> All right. I will be back in a few minutes. Thank you for your patience. I do really appreciate it. If I could just... Mouse. 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 There we go. <laughs> I'll be back in a few. Hello. Welcome back. It is now Mogul Mogul time. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. I know people are probably still coming back, so I'm just going to get a game set up. There we go. Um, today's lunch, I it's technically just leftovers. Yesterday, I made myself just some easy stir-fried noodles. I did buckwheat noodles with carrot, mushroom, bok choy, and some egg. And I was too lazy to microwave it, so it's a little too cold. But, you know, it's a meal. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I have to eat around my mic. I didn't think this through at all. <laughs> hold on. Yes, yeah, 17 months with Clara. Montecule, hello! Thank you so much for subscribing. 17 months. I am very, very grateful for your continued support. Okay. Okay. Um hey Hello, Doctor. Is there something else I can do for you? No, but I found a chewed up stealth boy in the Night Stalker lair. Hmm. 
There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. No! No, why Lily? So, hello, go sleep. <laughs> why Lily and not some other Nightkin? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. What are the risks? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. What? No! She's definitely... Considering everything she's gone through, she's very put together, right? But... Once you're done thinking, talk to Lily. Mad Max, thank you for the follow. Hello, hold up. Hello again, dear. Do you still want to help Dr. Henry? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. No! Wait. Hold on. No. I don't... I, I have a genuine... Can Lily really fully understand what she's agreeing to in this moment? Does she fully understand what she's agreeing to right now? Sorry, I got lazy when I cooked the bok choy. It's just a big old lump of veggie. So it's kind of hard to eat. Ethical dilemma. Wow, I hate this. I don't know if she's capable of making an informed decision here. She does understand. She still has her higher brain functions. In the long run... Yeah, like, I get that they need answers, but... I don't know if it's ethical to advance science by hurting someone. I don't... Ugh. 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 Jerome, hello. Okay. Petsu, thank you for the follow, too. Hello. So, here is my question. It's an easy yes or no. Is there any other way to resolve this quest? For everyone just joining, I'm sorry if you don't like mouth eating sounds. I have to eat. It's science. I actually tried eating a big meal yesterday. It was not good. <laughs> With science 90? I have a science of 60. Even with a temporary skill book, I'd only get to science 80, right? What's the point of being smart if I can't save friend? What's the point of being smart science if I can't... Oh, god dang it. Okay. So here's the thing. This quest does not progress if I don't talk to him. Yeah, can you look it up and I can save scum? I don't want to just uh, uh, make her do that. Do I? Well, first of all, do I have a science book? I do. Have a science book. My current science stat is 61. Does she have an unmarked quest? 
What's her unmarked? Uh, how do I? Well, I guess I wouldn't know if it's unmarked. God dang it. Can't do anything about this part of the experiment. Dang it! Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Hmm? If I recall, she always goes through the experiment. However, to prevent further testing, you need a high level of science. Got it. Thank you. So... As it stands now, I want to make sure I understand this. As it stands now, I have a science book that would boost me to 80. So if I can get my science just to 70 through level up, I could come back to this quest. Is Hokwemi gonna be okay? I would like for her to be. Hold on, what's her unmarked quest? Because I talked to her and she didn't give me any indication of a quest. I'd like to do that if possible. Oh, in the meantime, you want to boost your speech? Thank you. Let me go talk to those guys outside. You need to get her into fights to activate it. Got it. Thank you. Yeah, let me talk to the NCR guys because I have to do that. Speech 80? Oh, wait, do I have a big book of science? Hold on, I can read that, right? I keep forgetting that I have these things. Hold on. Now I have a science of 65. Okay. Um. Let's go talk to these nerds. Speech is broken, I swear. Yes, it, you're about to you're about to watch broken speech in action, baby. Because these NCR guys are all murder bros. Leaf, welcome back. Hello. So I'm gonna save just so that this doesn't go tits up. Into tough fights, especially. You can shoot landmines at her feet. No! I am not putting landmines around Hulk Grandma. What am I, a monster? Just put on a lab coat, take some drugs to so get the science so but I would still need my speech. What? I'm sorry, that you're okay. Go away or you'll have to deal with me and you'll wish you were fighting super mutants instead. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. Yeah. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Good. I don't even care to know if you're real NCR or not. Get out of here. Get out of here, you cowards. When did Clara go off? I, can, I feel like saying tits up is an okay phrase. It's a 16 plus stream. People say that in high school, right? All right, you're who I want to talk to. Marcus. Something on your mind? You won't have trouble with those mercenaries. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Oh. What's the story with Pain? Smart, charismatic, from hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. This voice actor sounds familiar to me, and I don't know why. He sounds kind of like the voice actor for Soldier 76, but I don't know if it's the same person. Jacob has a town named after him? Is Jacob a character from the franchise? Now that you turned the quest in, you could go murder those mercs? Can I murder those mercs? I don't want to murder mercs, though. That feels bad. Were they actually NCR troops? Or are they, um... What's it called? Are they fake? It's not the guy? Yeah, I didn't think so. It just sounds similar. Yeah, it'll hurt my web. I don't want to murder people. Mmm. Hired to start trouble. Got it. Oof. You'll gain infamy if you kill them. Found that out the hard way. Uh, why does Keen want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. 
The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. What if Keen leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. Got it. So that's not ideal. Uh, so Keen's bad news. Thanks for hanging, Abby. Thank you, thank you. Have a good one. Uh, wouldn't the Light Knight can listen to you if you're a mutant? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Hmm. So, for Keen, I really do want to do this quest with the doctor, but I want to be able to have the stats to pull it off. So I think I'm going to come back to that. Thanks for hanging, Leaf. Um, oh, it's right. I should enter Vault 22 at some point. I do have Rex. I have Rex. We gave Rex Rex brain surgery and we're in Jacobstown. And I'm trying to decide what to do next. I don't want Lily to go into surgery science yet. It doesn't feel good. Um, other than DLC quests, which I can't do yet. I'm not a high enough level. My only option is to do the Vault 22 quest line, but I was told I should have a flamethrower for that. And I don't have a flamethrower. Um, I did all the quests with the king. Thank you for the streets. You'll need fire for that or at least a grenade. I don't know. I'd rather be prepared. I want to see what's at the end of this road. Let's see what's at the end of this road. I'm curious. A flamethrower helps, but you don't need it. Long fuse dynamite is best. I where do I get long fuse dynamite? I'm thinking I want to explore what's here, and then maybe we'll check out the vault. What is critical path? What the hell does that mean? I don't need that. I just need my feet. From the long fuse dynamite store, duh. <laughs> Powder gangers have it. Yeah, powder gangers and I are not friends. I guess I could schmurder some, but that's not really ideal. I could probably buy it from someone who sells explosives, but I don't wanna I don't wanna spend money. <laughs> That makes it way easier to get the dynamite from them. Yeah, but then they're also going to use it on me, aren't they? Good Springs has some. Oh, does it? I am curious to see what's at the very end of this road. Hmm. Sloan might have it. Oh, wait. Hold up. I... What's my medicine stat now? You know what? I'm gonna go to Sloan. I'm sorry. I know I was like, I'm gonna go explore. But I just remembered there's a friend in Sloan that I would like to help. Where is Sloan? I don't remember. It's here. There is someone who we have to help. Uh, where are you? Hey, buddy. God, you're so ugly, but I want to help you anyway. Your leg appears injured. Medicine 30, clean the wound. How's it going? You feeling better, bud? Okay. 
Yeah, I, I've been been dumping into my medicine stat, and I couldn't remember what stat I needed, so I made it 55. <laughs> um, yeah, hot. if you don't mind telling me where I can find a long fuse, I'd appreciate it. Can I trade anything here? Can I talk to anyone here? I think literally everyone here just told me don't... Don't go north, because you'll meet death claws, and I said, okay. But yeah, I cured the rat thing. I don't know if anyone wants me to tell them I cured the rat thing. Uh, let's wait. You could kill all the death claws. I'm not gonna kill the death claws. I am a charisma science build. I'm not death claw fighting material. I don't want to fight those. I don't want to die. I like my limbs being attached to my body. Thank you very much. Where is the leader of this place? Come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I fixed your dog rat. Is he in here? Mr. Leader Man. Hello. Mr. Leader Man. Hello. Oh, he might be in the road. You're right. Because he was like hanging out outside. Aren't y'all? Let's see. Why do you want your limbs attached? That's so weird. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You need something? I fixed your rat. I'd noticed Snuffles limping, but I didn't realize the problem was that serious. Thanks. That beast helps keep spirits up around here. Oh. NCR fame gained. Yep. Oh, that's right. That's right, cause 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 Sloan makes concrete for the NCR. Okay, so where can I get explosive? Worldwide notoriety for patching up a rat. <laughs> it's just, it's just fallout logic. Let's see. What are the chances that our general store buddies got a long fuse dynamite? Howdy. There's a quest I can pick up in Sloan. Thank y'all. That is the kind of information I like. I will go back for that. Chat. You... You guy, I, I hate you, you so much. Buy you some sly mother guy. Let me buy your stuff. You have a long fuse dynamite. No. Good. Take oh, it's worth a check. Factoid: The death claws here are actually buffed and stronger than the same death claws anywhere else. Wow, that's not fun at all. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be wrong, that's actually, that's very useful information, but I hate it. Man, the developers really wanted to say, don't do this. Or is Sloan? There it is. There we go. Oh, that's right, explosive guy in front of the bar. I don't think he... Can you trade with him, though? I don't remember if you can trade with him or not. Um... Hello? Anybody home? I'm not gonna kill the old prospector guy. He's nice. There's no one in here. But this isn't the mess hall, is it? This is the office. It has to have a C4 detonator. Bought it. Uh, is it here? What's this building? Worker barracks. The death claws have been keeping their distance for now. Um, just a bunch of workers. He gave me dynamite forever ago, but I'm pretty sure I sold it. Mess hall, here it is. Mm. Activate jukebox. Oh, I can't do that. That's bad. There you are. Yes, hello. Let me ask you a question. What's the tastiest thing you've ever eaten? A really good slice of chocolate pie. Anything that wasn't made 200 years ago? Why do you ask? I've got this recipe for a deathclaw omelet that I've been itching to try out. Trouble is, I need a deathclaw egg. Kind of obvious, I suppose. Ma'am, do you have a death wish? Ma'am. Huh? You want me to fight a death claw so you can make an omelet? Are you nuts? Oh my god. Where did you come up with this recipe? Mm. 
My great aunt Rose ran a bed and breakfast back in California in a town called Modoc. She's the one who created the recipe in the first place. I don't know how she managed to get a hold of a female deathclaw, but she kept it in a shed. Aunt Rose had a steady supply of eggs for her omelets. At least she did until some stranger came along and killed the deathclaw, shot it right in the eye. I'm sorry, this man, this this ma'am, this this woman had a deathclaw in a shed. She wants me to domesticate a murder monster for eggs. Wow. Oh, okay. Where can I find it? Oh my god. The quarry just north of here is full of death claws, so there's bound to be an egg or two in there somewhere. You're way too of excited course, about this. A death claw egg from anywhere will do. According to my aunt Rose, those things have a ridiculously long shelf life. What are you offering in exchange? My great I'm sorry, wrong one. I don't have much in the way of money, but I'd be willing to share the secret of the recipe. You? You want me to risk life and limb to get a death claw egg, and all you're gonna offer is to teach me how to make an omelet? Bitch, I can teach you how to make an omelet. You get a frying pan, you put some oil or butter in it, you scramble an egg with some salt and pepper, cook it low and slow, you're done. You don't need to give me a recipe for that. Are you nuts? God, you're, oh, uh, God. Uh, I had some questions. Sure. Are you from California? Born and raised. Things back in California are better than they've ever been, according to my grandpa. The raiders are mostly gone now, and it's easy enough to get a job at one of the mills or farms, but now there's taxes and laws and other things. The NCR keeps things safe and orderly, but it's all very boring. So I came out east towards the frontier. You don't look like a quarry worker. Oh, I'm not. I'm making my way to New Vegas. They say anything goes there. And best of all, the NCR can't mess it up for you. I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> I've heard that you can't even get into the strip unless you're rich. I don't like All her. Right, then. Eggs are hard to come by, but... I'll do the quest, but I'm not gonna enjoy it, you know? When do you think the NCR will send their... Alright, who can I buy explosives from? Novak. Where's Novak? Skill book in the barrack that you missed. Oh, thank you! Hold up, hold up. It's free, right? Thank you very much for that, Kaze. Let's see, let's see. There it is. Um. Monica. Duck and cover. But that's stealing. I don't want to steal. No, I'm not doing it. I don't, I don't do that. Dude, free omelet, why complain? Because I have to risk my life for it. I Look, I like eggs. Not enough to risk my life for one. I want to go to Novak. Alrighty. Think of all the people you could help with the skills acquired in that book. Is it one of those books where you read it once and it gives you permanent stat boost? Or is it one of those books that you read it and it gives you a temporary stat boost? I don't know. It still feels bad. Hello, Cliff. Welcome back. Gonna... Yes. Sure thing. Have a look. Uh, weapons. C4. God, it's expensive, though. Oh, long fuse dynamite. Hey, look at that. And it's not nearly as expensive. I want to get rid of some junk. I want to get rid of some junk. I want to get rid of some garbage. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I want to sell things that I don't need. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Uh, I don't want that. I don't care if it's good. I don't want it. Beep a dee boop. 
Yeah. Okay. Thank y'all. Be careful when you use it. Well, we'll find out. Come. Bye, Cliff. Give us all your dinos. I do want to buy them all eventually, but I don't want to spend all those caps right now. I feel like I'm going to need them. All right. So I have the long fused dynamite. So let's go check out this vault. I haven't actually been in a vault before. I do know about some lore, uh, vault lore from videos I've stumbled upon. What am I looking for? Quest. Okay, so I do... I go to the world map. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at this menu system. <laughs> okay, cool. So we can go here. Yeah, no, vaults get... Go they range from, like, nice to horrifying. I have to wonder... What kind of vault did Lily have? Cause, Cause some vaults are like, okay. And then there's like Gary, you know? Sorry. The noodles are cold, so they kind of stuck all together. Mm. Oh, that's right. There were some control vaults. That's right. Or the experiment hadn't started yet. What's with vendors having individual pieces of plastic explosives? That's a good question. What is that? Those are the big murder bugs. I am equipping a rifle right now. I don't have Boone with me. Should I get Boone? Not known, much is known about Vault 17, but given she was in her 70s when she was transformed, it couldn't have been one of the super terrible ones. That is a very good point. They must have had, like, adequate health care and stuff. Oh, I am so... No! I was going to say I'm super avoiding them, but one of them got all red and angry for a minute, and I got scared. I do have anti-venom. I do have anti-venom. Because thankfully, everyone kept telling me, if you see anti-venom, take it. And now I see why. A friend of mine loves the Cazadors. They th she thinks they're cute. I do. I don't like them. Uh, you don't have to tell me twice, Lily. Thank you. <laughs> wing, wing, wing. <coughs> Excuse me. Lily, are you okay? <coughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I'm God. <sighs> I've seen way too many people say F it and be evil crazy. The car is like, but that's stealing. <laughs> I don't know. It just... It feels bad to, like, take people's stuff. It's the apocalypse, right? Like, life is hard enough as it is. I don't know. I've tried to do, like, evil playthroughs in games before, and I can never commit. It it just feels bad and wrong. Like, I, I think I've told this story before. I once tried playing the evil playthrough for infamous last sun last light oh god what the hell got lily <laughs> what got oh the poison oh god um it's the third infamous game second sun that was not right yeah thank you second sun infamous second sun um you can either be a paragon of good or just the most evil horrible person right and <laughs> I thought I would try and do one of each playthrough. Can't. I want to be a Skyrim horse. Let me, let me Skyrim horse. I can do this. I don't want to have to go that way. Um. Shit. 
don't want to have to go past the big murder bugs. But anyway, I tried being evil and I couldn't do it. I felt real bad. We're going to approach it from the other direction. Because this is not working. <laughs> I wanted to just be a Skyrim horse and it wasn't working that way. I think it's much more fun being evil and inf infamous. I tried it and like the powers are really cool, but like you're just so comically horrible and I felt bad. <laughs> Starry, hello. Welcome in. Uh, let me save. Oh, you know what? Give me a second. I'm gonna save. And then... If I could please... If I could please... This is what, Vault 22? I'm gonna just update- I'm gonna update the, the name of the stream just so people know what we're up to. And I just need the game. Okay. <laughs> Most of the time, evil's kind of boring. I think for me, in a lot of video games... At least, I guess, in, like, the 2000s and 2010s, when video games had- Oh, God! What the hell? Why? Where did my arm go? Huh? Why is- Why is there bombs? Good thing I saved. Why were there bombs in the middle of the road? You're all dying it. All right, let's go this way. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I feel like a lot of games in like the 2000s and 2010s that had moral decisions, it was either save this pen of puppies or drown them and wear their skin. And it was like, that's not really how <laughs> moral choices really are, you know? Like it's very easy to write and it's very easy to make it so that players know what kind of outcome their decision will have which is all fine, but the rest of it's just weird, you know? And so like with Infamous, it was like, make the city better for everyone or just murder everyone with a pulse. <laughs> it just felt bad. Oh, that's right. They're trying to keep out the fiends. That makes sense. That makes sense. Also, Madcore, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. So yeah, the, the situation with Lily, I, I agree. I find it to be far more compelling because there's a lot of different perspectives. From a utilitarian perspective, you could say, okay, by sacrificing this one super mutant, we could potentially um, find a medical solution to a much bigger problem and improve the lives of many more super mutants and by extension, many members of the Mojave. Um, but I, I take umbra- I, Like, that's such a slippery slope though, right? Because then you can justify a lot of really messed up stuff, right? You know, and especially when it comes to like science and medical discoveries, like eh, it could go, it could go south real fast, you know. But I agree, I do think that makes it a lot more interesting. Um, like for me, I don't think I could ever do a Caesar's Legion playthrough because they're just like comically bad. They're just horrible. <laughs> you know. They're just, they're just, they're just bad. Thank you for the clip. Sorry, I don't have links on. Oh, God dang it. What the hell? Sorry, I don't have links on in chat just to prevent bots, but please feel free to share any clips you make. Please feel free to share them in the Discord. I have a whole channel dedicated to like, <gasps> don't shoot my dog. I'm going to ruin your whole life. Leave my dog alone. Hey, hey, guy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, guy. Hey, pal. Stop that. I'm gonna dome you in peanut. How does that feel? Huh? Eat lead. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. God dang it. Leave my dog alone. <gasps> Hello, Rex. I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, good boy. Ooh. Disassembled weapons shipment. Why is it considered stealing? The ends justify the means just means you justify your own ends, eventually. You know, that's actually a very, uh... Astute observation. Thank you for the bits. Any game you should aim for moral gray, not a moral black and white. I think, again, right? Like, with game design, there has to be a balance because 
if players don't understand the outcome of their decision, that's going to be frustrating. Like, I think famously people complain a lot about the dialogue system in Fallout 4 because they'll just try to disagree with an NPC, right? They'll just be like, no. And then their character will be like, go, go F yourself. Go jump off a cliff and, a cliff and, and, and choke on a cactus. And as a player, you're thinking, well, that's not what I meant to say, right? So like, I understand wanting to make sure people know, hey, if you make this choice, God dang it, why are these things everywhere? I hate this. I understand making that choice in order to... Oh God, don't come for me! Don't come for me! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Oh God, what the hell? Oh God! <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> I hate having to look at it. It's a big old, it's a big old bug. I hate, <laughs> I hate having to look at the big old bug. I hate having to look at the big old bug. <laughs> Lily, please live, please. No, I died. Oops, I hate. Th I forgot to heal. I hate. Th Is there no way to get to this vault without these bugs? <laughs> uh, before I was being so rudely interrupted by a bunch of bugs. Thanks for hanging, Montecule. If I could like you. Um. Uh. Uh. Right. So on the one hand, players need to understand what they're agreeing to. So I can understand writers saying, "Well, let's just make it easy for players and make it very clear that either you're doing something real good." Or you're doing something real bad. But I, I, I still find those kinds of stories to be less compelling because at a certain point, like, very few people want to just murder everything with a pulse, you know? Oh, I should heal going into the fight. Also, I fully forgot to, like, look at my healing, so that's also on me. Um, yeah, then there's the Fallout 4 system. Um, so... I've never done game design, which is why I don't want to sound like I'm criticizing anyone because I don't know what it takes. But from a player's side, I can see why there's a lot of like... It's not as easy as just saying, uh, just write interesting stories because you have to make it so players understand exactly what they're agreeing to, you know? I think the problem of developers wanting to make option one option good and one option evil, which means they're assigning value judgments on real beliefs. You know, that's actually extremely interesting. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, why is it so fast? <laughs> Lily, I'm sorry. Lily, I'm sorry. Lily, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm going to stop crouching so her machine doesn't do all that noise. Oh, God. I want to aim at the wing. Here we go. I'm helping. I'm helping. I'm helping. <gasps> Where is that sound coming from? Where is that sound? Where? Oh, that's Lily's machine. What the hell? Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, I can do this. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. I can do this. I can do this. I'm a big girl. I can do this. Okay. I'm alive. Huh? Ow, 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 ow. Ow! Oh god! Oh, la, 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 la. God dang it! I meant to heal, but I was too slow. It's an audio glitch. If I crouch, um, Lily's stealth sound goes off. All right, I need a different weapon. This is not. This is not go. Oh, I meant to sell. Oh, baby! God dang it! That thing's heavy. Um. I don't know what I don't... <sighs> I don't know what to do here, y'all. I don't have any ammo for the grenade rifle. I don't got no ammo for it. It's... it's empty. Um... Where's my... Plasma gun? Oh, did I... I have a save file, so... Oh, can I give this thing to Lily? This big old unique hammer?
Yeah, can I give her the big ol' sledgehammer? Oh god, they're both on me! <laughs> Am I alive? Am I okay? I think I'm okay. It's a pretty it's the best melee weapon in the game. Okay. Alright, let me wait for her to wake up. Oh, she woke up. There are auto stim packs and auto anti venoms. Can you carve them? There's auto ones? I had no idea. Um, I don't think so. I haven't really ch ch tried crafting at all, if I'm gonna be honest. Um I want to give you big boy. Oh, baby. That's what it's called. Take this. Have you equipped it? Ooh, nice. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. Okay. I need a crafting table to craft, right? Okay. Ooh, God. Holy! Holy, help! Please! Oh god. Thank you! I hate this. You need high science to auto craft auto stims. Ah, uh, my science is 60, I think. Gonna save. Gonna heal. Gonna wait for Lily to wake up. RPG Rooster, hello! Welcome, Raiders! Welcome, welcome! Thank you so much for bringing your community here. Hello! If this is your first time here, hi! I'm Clara Dogford. I'm a dog girl. I am playing Fallout New Vegas for the first time ever, so please no spoilers. I've never actually played a Fallout game, so I don't know a lot about what's happening. Um, Anti-Venom. Take another stim pack. How was stream? Feel free to tell me all about it. If you gotta go do post stream care, that's also okay. Oh no. I'll take a frag grenade. Brewers, beer, oh god! What the hell? Oh god! How many more are there? Going inside. God dang it. What the hell? Lily, are you okay? Lily. Oh my god! Lily! Lily! Where are you going? Lily! 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 You! Lily got raptured! Lily! Oh god. Lily got raptured. Um. Lily! Hello! Um. Uh, don't go to it's a light, Lily! Don't go to Leo! We can work it out. Hold on, if I go outside, is she out? Okay. Hi, you... Don't go towards the light next time, all right? We're doing all this so you don't die. Oh my god. <laughs> Testing a lot of new things. Oh, nice! Sometimes test streams are really important, even if it feels kind of goofy. But go do your post-stream care, no worries. Oh my god. Okay. Is there any not empty sunset sarsara sars sarsparillas? I don't think so. All right. Well, let me heal myself one more time. Yeah, I have to go to the basement. I don't want to. I don't want to do this. It's scary. Something killed that guy outside, and I don't know if it was a bug or something else. Whoa. Whoa. Phoebe. Don't bark. You're going to give us away, buddy. Rex, that's, that's not very... Ooh, more sexy sleepwear. Um, That's going to give us away. What do you think of Fallout? I'm... This is... I see why this is a lot of people's favorite game, and I really do enjoy this game a lot. Um, it 
feels like I understand the development of this game um, was very rushed and that being considered like it's so good I I guess ultimately I think the quests are really memorable and interesting I like that it's not a lot of fetch quests you know um, I I just find that to be really refreshing like I like Skyrim and I recognize that it sucks because it's a lot of just kill 10 bears and give me their pelts. And it's like, that does nothing for interesting world building or character development. And I feel like every quest I've run into has been really interesting. What is this? I wanted to check my corners. Strategic nuclear moose and God said, let them have beer. Big book of science. Yay. I'm gonna read that so I can be smart. Uh. Yeah! Skill book! So is this just like a beer operation? I thought I heard a voice in here, but maybe it was Lily when she got raptured. I'm... very lost. Is there anyone down here in the cellar? It says moonshine. Ew. Oh. Look at that. I'll take these. Sure. Thought I saw that. They were trying to brew their own booze. <laughs> well, I don't hate the... Uh... I thought I heard someone, but it was definitely just... Just Lily. Oh, I'll take cigarettes and I'll take Pentax. Yeah. Explosives are a necessary part of brewing. <laughs> Okie dokie, we're gonna save again because I don't want to lose my progress. You gonna do the DLC? I do have all the DLC. I would like to play it. Um, my understanding is the game ends when you beat the main story. So my plan is to do as much as possible. Um, but, uh, to hit level 25 because then you're supposed to do DLC and then after I've done all of that I will... Oh god dang it! Not again! Ugh. Why? I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Leave her alone. Leave my Mima alone. Oh man, that is... Sorry for the audio glitches. Ooh. I got this on a Steam sale for like $2. I'm not even joking. I think it was like $1.98, $2.98. It was nuts. Let's see. Oh, we're gonna save. We're gonna save. Never played a Fallout game? I, look, as someone who's only played New Vegas, I like it a lot. I just played my favorite DLC, Old World Blues. I got some op equipment afterwards, so waiting might be a good call. Thank you for that information. Yeah, honestly, my original plan was to not touch the DLC until the end game, but my understanding is like that doesn't exist in this game. So I'm supposed to go this way. God dang it. Right. Um, I will say, as somebody who likes RPGs a lot, this quest design wise, this is one of the best RPGs I've played. Um, and I haven't even beaten it. And so far, I feel that very firmly. Like, parts of it are definitely dated. Um, not necessarily in a bad way. Oh my god! I was wondering where all those sounds were coming from. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> come on. Come on, you creeps. You... It's a baby. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I don't even want to live anymore. I hate this. God, this is the worst. Stop that. God, stop that. I don't have any. Y'all weren't joking when you said these are the worst. These are the worst. <laughs> God! God! Is there any way to get to this place that doesn't include all these freaking bugs? Uh, I 
Eat this. <gasps> uh. Uh. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, hey, buddy. And Lily, how are you holding up, friend? Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna drink some soda. Cheap healing, free money. I'm gonna save. I just need a giant fly swatter. <laughs> Not again. What do you mean I'm in danger? Of what? From where? Why? Uh. Come on, Rex. Finish it off. Good boy. God. Nice job, buddy. <gasps> Man, I was so excited to, like, discover my first vault, and now I just hate it so much. I'm so not a fan. Just absolutely not at all, uh, not at all, not at all psyched for this. Tunnelers are worse? What do you mean there's tun- What is- I am full of- of- of despair. What do you mean tunnelers? God, I hate this! This thing moves so fast! This is the worst! Stay stuck. Oh no! Oh, he's like stuck in the rock. Maybe I'll be okay if you just stay stuck in there. Oh god, this is wrong. <gasps> oh god, there's just bugs everywhere. Oh no, do I have to be here? Do I have to be here? Can I not be here? I don't want to be here. Come on, please. Do I have to be at their nest? Oh, god dang it. Ellie, good girl. Thank you. God. The small ones are even worse somehow. That which does not... Why are you counting? I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. I don't care if it... Look, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. People who say that, what you need is therapy. Learning survival skills to survive bad shit is not good. I don't want to be stronger. I want therapy. I want cheaper rent. I hate this. I go this way, please. Can I go this way? I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. Oh, Ow, God. <gasps> it sounds like the philosophy of the charisma science build. I'm not... The only problem with doing smart builds is I'm, like, not smart enough to do them. Like... <laughs> you know when people do, like, um... Wizards in D&D? &D? It's real hard to be a wizard and then roleplay being smart if you're not smart. <laughs> I love playing wizards, but, like, being a big smarty pants is not my forte. Oh god. What doesn't kill you gives you If you, you kill trauma. enough bugs, you can talk better and be smarter. That's how leveling works. But I don't want to be smarter. I want to be an auto attack by bug. Oh, this good. This looks, this looks promising. Oh, look at all that red. This looks very Stay out. The plants kill. Why am I here again? Why can't I turn back? Vault 22. Verl is boss. Oh, God! Huh? 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 I just wanted to read the graffiti. Oh, God! What the hell? Oh, it's Lily's machine is making noise. Sorry. So he wants me to go in here? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I... Why... Why am I doing this? Oh, 
oh, didn't some smart, smarty pants doctor want me to come in here and, and get information for him? <laughs> I'm full of so much regret. All right, I'm taking a quick snack break. I can't do this. I can't. I would never survive the apocalypse. Thank you for head hats. I would never survive this, y'all. I just never would. Thank you for the ad break. I'm gonna do a quick snack stretch. If you're not a subscriber, I'm literally just gonna be eating and stretching my hands and I will resume the game when we get back. Quick little ad break. Wow. Wow. Okay. Just gonna eat the rest of my noodles. Sorry that I have to like eat on stream. It's not ideal. But if I don't, my tummy get mad. God dang it. Sorry, I'm knocking stuff over today. I'm a little mess. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Did my munch crunch. I'm going to do a quick stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Also, chewing ASMR. I feel bad because I know some people don't like mouth sounds, which is why I try to make sure I make it clear when I'm like eating. That's mostly it. I feel bad making mouth sounds, but dog girls gotta eat, tragically. Okay, all right, let's find out what horrible nightmares await me in this vault. Ooh, restored terminal. Vault 22 interlab network, main entrance security station. Warning, system integrity compromised. Unauthorized login. Vault 22 Expedition Entry 1. I've established a temporary cant inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal but still running, and I've managed to hack into one of their security terminals. The log shows that several people have entered the vault over the past few months, and but none have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume the expedition in the morning. Keely out. Entry 2. Growth in the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room. But even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildern was onto something after all. That's right, Hildern was the guy at the fort. Since my pit boy's on the fritz, I'll try to keep a running log of my discoveries and whatever computers I can find and collate the data before leaving. Why do I have a feeling you never left? I left the bed. How nice of you. Oh. Free war book. Oh, I can't read it? Programmer's Digest? Heck yeah. Double bag. Fancy lad snacks. Oh, there's nowhere to go there. Okay. Sorry, dog. Just doing a quick explore. Cool costume, thank you! Chamberick, welcome back! Hello, hello. Morning. Hydraulic hatch, 3,300 pounds of pressure. Override. That sounds safe. Why do I hate this? This seems bad. You're stealing the scientist stuff. I'm going to be honest. Whoever left this stuff is probably not coming back. I just have a sneaking suspicion. You know, I don't see him. Stairs, elevator. Yeah, this is vault 22. So those stairs, I'm guessing the elevator's broken? Elevator does not seem to be working. If you had more experience with fixing machinery, repair 50? 
What's my repair stat? Oh, god dang it. Do I have a repair book? I do have a repair book. Jamboree, don't worry about it. It's okay. Um... I'm gonna ask y'all. Y'all just tell me yes or no. Is it worth using this repair book to open this elevator shaft? Or should I take the stairs? Yes. Getting a vote for yes. Probably better than most uses of a repair book. Elevator's good AF. You get experience. Unblinded Diamond, hello! Thank you for the follow. All in books. No, so this is a magazine, and magazines are temporary. So I'll get a temporary boost to repair. Um... And I only have the one, so I don't know if there's like a better use for it that I should hold on to it for. I'm sure I could buy another, but I don't know how hard these are to find. So... If we're not confident, I can just leave it as is. That's fine, too. I haven't played it, so I'm in the dark. Yeah, <laughs> that makes two of us. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll verify for you. You can go through without the elevator perfectly fine. It is more convenient. Eh, no, don't worry. Then I'll just take the stairs. I do need experience. Let's just... Let's just... Do it the spooky way. Maybe I'll get more information, too. Hmm. I don't like this. Oxygen recycling. Elevator. Lab stairs. Well, let's check out the lab, I guess. Adventure! <gasps> Neongalos! Thank you for some. <laughs> thank you for subscribing for two months. God, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Um. Oh, why is there goop falling? Oh, there's green goop falling from that. That can't be good. Uh. Sorry. I really appreciate your support. Anyone who subscribes here gets ad free viewing. My sincere appreciation. A bunch of emotes I made. Fancy little sub badges. And if you join the Discord, there's a little little a little hangout room for y'all. But it's not required, so please don't worry. If you can't subscribe, you can still support my content in a lot of other ways. That doesn't require money. Ooh, what's this? Some kind of botany study room? No, why? <laughs> yeah, like those. Thank you for showcasing them, Wiggles. <laughs> I appreciate it. Man, these maps make no freaking sense. I will say I think that's one of the parts of this game I dislike a lot, is these maps are... very confusing. Did I come through here? I think I did. Thank you for the hydrate. The local maps are almost worse than useless. Like I said, no game's gonna be perfect. <laughs> I still recommend this game, though. I still think it is very fun. Um Rex, what are you barking at, bud? Buddy. You barking at another one of those plant rooms. Big old machine. Dead terminal. Was this just a science lab vault? Interesting plants. Use vats when entering a room. Oh! I saw that it said danger. Why did it say danger? Why did it say danger? What is dangerous? Why is dangerous? Uh, 
Time to head off to work. I hope work goes well, Merc. Thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Hello. What the hell? Entry 3. This level seems to be have been devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants with a concentration on producing plants with a high oxygen yield. Given the, quote, problems these vaults were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. Oh. 4. It's strange, but some sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and systemic pressure has been bypassed. Entry 5. I've been hearing a strange chittering sound for some time now. Nope, I hate it. No, no, what? No. Azazel, welcome in. I'm really liking this game a lot. There's some kind of giant mantises. God dang, you gotta be joking me. That have taken up residence in the vault. I almost ran smack into one the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of the creatures, but I can't see how a few scattered insects could pose much of a problem to experienced mercs. Nope, I want to leave. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. This all seems very bad. I don't like this. This... <laughs> no, something moved. Something moved. You can't tell me something didn't move in there. Ugh inventory. Retrieving inventory information. Why isn't it working? Oh, memory's corrupted. Oh. <sighs> well, that's... You good, Lily? I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Everything here really sucks. I don't want to shoot at my dog. Right. Which way did I want to go? Stairs, stairs, elevator. I have to keep going down, right? God dang it. That's a cool gun. Thank you. This is like a unique plasma gun, I believe, that I found. Food production. Plants are getting more. There's more of them, and I don't think... Caution, why? Why caution? Oh, God, what the frick? What the hell is this thing? That was a human, wasn't it? Where is your corpse, spore carrier? Oh god! <laughs> oh god. Thank you for the jump scare. Uh, oh god, my heart's in my butt. How could you do this to me? Where did it come from? Where did the spore carrier come from? God, what in... So... How did they get... Oh, God. I don't want to answer this question. How did they get trapped if they were once human? And they got all not human. Oh, gross. What made them like that? Oh, God. 
No, I don't. I, I'll find out. You don't have to spoil it. I just hate it so much. God. I'm just like, sorry. I'm just like asking questions aloud. I thought that was a person in that chair. Something move. Yeah, there is something there. There's a guy there. There's a, there's a spooky guy. He's there. I see him and I can't shoot him. Nice. Spore carrier brute. What the? Oh, God. Oh, there was a terminal by the other guy. Oh, shoot. Thank you. Hold on. I don't remember where he was. Where? What? Oh, God. Now I have to remember where I went. This way. Here. Is there a terminal in here? Thank you. Oh, there it is. Thank you for catching that. I didn't even see that. A little dingus. I walked right past it. Retrieving uncorrupted files only. Entry six. I finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing them. I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious, at least to ghouls. Interesting. So this is a ghoul, um, explorer. Someone like their greens. <laughs> Entry 7. This level appears to be where they performed most of the research NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from the research done here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download from there. God. I'm so lucky you logged all of your notes, unnamed ghoul explorer. You're cool as hell. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. You haven't played this game in a while? I've never played it, so it's been an ex interesting experience so far, but man... Spooky, spooky. Terminal's dead. Interesting. So this is the farm situation they were working on. Mr. Goo Pile, also empty. None of them have anything on them. Also a dead computer. Ooh! Not dead computer. Status report 9228. Yields continue to improve. Splicing together cultivar GN188 with the existing corn samples has produced a hybrid that responds better to the artificial lights we have. On a side note, Dr. Peters has missed his third straight day due to illness. His work ethic hasn't exactly been stellar to this point, so I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he is, in fact, sick. Mm -hmm. How inconsiderate of them to become goo and not even have any loot? <laughs> Status report 9253. On a lark, the guys down in pest control sent up a sample of a substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has a mood-altering effect on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing soon. Oh, God. <laughs> Squirrel Gamer, thank you for the follow. Why would you start with human testing? Quite a number of staff have begun to show symptoms of some sort of viral infection. I've begun to order them to stay in bed and recover, but at this rate, there won't be anyone left to do research. Status report 9312. Not much to report today. The mood is unusually somber in the wake of Dr. Peter's passing. There's a strange rumor going around that the commotion downstairs was caused by, of all things, Dr. Peter's corpse suddenly animating and attacking people. I don't know who would start such a vicious rumor, but it's ex in exceptionally bad taste. Great. Good. Saw your Minecraft TikTok and want to say hi. That means so much. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for stopping in from TikTok. Seriously, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Hello. That, I, uh, that, oh God. What do you mean danger? What do you mean danger? Uh, sorry. <laughs> Where did it come from? God, what a way to go. There's more of them. Did opening that terminal wake them up? God, I hate this. Sorry, Squirrel Gamer. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking me out from TikTok. If anyone's interested, I understand tuning in for every single stream is difficult. I totally get it. So I like to have little clips and things to show off. So if you ever want to check out fun little highlights, I post them to TikTok and YouTube. Um. Oh, they're all in there. 
Oh, they're all in the spooky room. With the bugs. Oh, God. I hate it. Oh. I did see the food additive. Should I grab it? Oh, God. Is there danger? Why is there danger? Is your YouTube same as, as your Twitch? It is. So I have two YouTube channels. I have my main YouTube channel is literally just Clara Dockford. Uh, and that's where I post clips and highlights and things. And then I have my Clara Dogford archive, which is where I post old streams. Because unfortunately, Twitch only holds streams for two weeks for me. Um, and obviously, you know, people have lives and can't watch every single stream. So I like to put them all up on YouTube or as often as I can. Sometimes I forget to export the files. <laughs> but thankfully, I'm good about it when it comes to um, uh, uh, games. Um... But I really appreciate that support, seriously. Um, that, that really does mean a lot. I saw the food additive, but it just didn't seem important. There's, 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 there's... There's all kinds of red stuffs on my mini-map. They're green goo boys. They're green goo boys. Hiding. I cannot do this. Cave door terminal access. Until further notice, the door to the caves is to be sealed at all times by order of Administrator Bailey. See him for further details. I'm not opening that yet. Nope. Drop this up to both. Thank you. I, to be clear, I don't... For me, I don't mind if people don't subscribe to the Archive channel. That channel is not there to, like, grow or be good. Um, I sent the video to a bunch of friends. I might... You're making my day with that. I need you to understand that really, really helps me out. Thank you so much. Ladies, hello. Thank you for the follow. I was saying earlier in stream, like, if you can't subscribe to Twitch or, like, pay for anything, that's fine. I want to be very clear about that. Life happens. It's the holidays. $5 a month is a lot for people. Sharing my clips, telling people about my work, it helps me a lot. Cause <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to Squirrel Gamer. Uh, Squirrel, if it interests you, um, we have a Discord server you can hang out in. Um, but now you get ad-free viewing. And you get a bunch of emotes I made and a little sub badge. Look at you, a little fancy subscriber. New Vegas, yeah, I've never played, so no spoilies, please. But I'm in I'm in Vault 22 and I hate it. I hate this place so much. It is horrifying. I I don't like it. I don't like body horror, so knowing that people turned into weird plant monsters is very upsetting. Security request. Assistant Mathers went into the caves at 1846 today and still hasn't returned, requesting security escort for science personnel to conduct a search. Medical emergency. We need a medical team up here now. Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who is horribly wounded. When I asked them where the other security officer was, he just paled and shook his head. In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until a further investigation can take place. Help! Is anyone down there? Security's trying to hold off. Well, I don't know what they're trying to hold off. Please send security up at once. With Dr. Bailey watching over his sick wife and daughter and their quarters down in the common area, I'm officially in charge of the level. I'm requesting security at once. How do you react to ghouls? Ghouls? It's interesting. Like, they have a, a very interesting design. I'm not upset by them so much as I just kind of feel bad for them. You know? Because, like, they got... They dealt with, like, the worst of the apocalypse and then everyone's mean to them about it. Walking Dead desensitized you? I've never seen Walking Dead. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this place. I've been here before. I have been here before. This is terminal with four, five, six, right? Six and seven. Okay. I'm officially lost. I guess I have to keep going downstairs. A new follow Vegas streamer immediate follow. Thank you. I've never played this game before. Oh. <gasps> Sorry. I've never played this game before. So, um, I, I don't know what I'm doing or what's happening. <laughs> oh, God. I hate it. 
you saw that before I did. Well, thankfully, someone pointed out they only hide in plants. So now I just look at the plants. Common areas. Oh, God. This is going to be the worst. I don't... I'm not... Oh, I see little red dots on my map. All right, let's grab this room first. Whoa. Oh! I don't want to grab this room first. Oh. What is that sound? I don't want to know what that sound is. Why did it stop? Ugh, I hate this. Lily, I have never felt more comfort than having a giant super mutant call me dearie. You are great. Thank you. Oh. I notice Clara sings a lot with nervous. I do. I don't even know why. Oh, I hate it here. Oh. Thank you for the head pat. Squeaky Ninja, thank you for the follow. Bearded Potato, thank you for the follows. I appreciate it a lot. Ladies, gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's suffer together. There's gonna be something in the toilet, isn't there? There's gonna be something in the bathroom. Oh God, I knew it! Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Spore carrier runt. That sound is not Lily's thing. Hi from TikTok. Thank you too. Oh my god. I y'all, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. It's TikTok's a funky app because you can have clips go viral and like people don't care. <laughs> Thank you so much for stacking me out for TikTok. I appreciate that. The bathroom was well fertilized. <laughs> Urinals, gross. Mushrooms. Okay. Oh, Lily's best super mutant grandma. I'm liking Lily so much. And oh no. Sorry. Thought that chair had a person in it. Projector screen. And I watch the movie. You're in the men's room. That's immoral. Look, uh, there's there's mutant spore people. I think we have bigger concerns. What armor is this? Um, this is the tribal raid armor. I don't know why it's called armor. I am wearing a metal bra. It's not. I don't know what it's protecting. You know. We're trying to try and pop in. It's okay if you can't. I really appreciate that. Um, but please never like. I know it's the holiday season. People of finals. Like, please don't feel stressed. Um, but I appreciate that. I try, I stream consistently on the weekends at 11 a.m. EDT, Saturday, Sunday. Weekdays, it's kind of funky, but I do post my stream schedule every week on Twitter and in the Discord overseer's office. I do need to go in here. There's gonna be a guy. There's gonna be a guy. Just know it. I just, I just... Hmm gonna pop out from the middle or something. Come on. Where are you? No? Alright, well, I do have Grandma and Rex. Oh, God. This is making me so stressed! It, does, it can't even protect your decency. Never mind your internal organs. <laughs> An office with a view. Look, in a world where they didn't do uh, funky wonky science with plants, this would have been a nice office. Oh, God. Unlock crew quarters. Unlock data backup. Let's do that. God, I don't want to unlock these, and I know I have to. Oh, I don't want to unlock these, and I know I have to. Oh, God, I hate this so much. I hate that I had to do that. I hate that I had to do that. I'm just gonna deal with so many monsters now. I just know it. I just, I just wrote my own death warrant. 
Sure, going through the men's bathroom in the post-apocalypse is immoral. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. We looking for anything specific? So I was given a quest by an NCR um, scientist who said that there's really important technology in this vault. And so he was basically like, go investigate why no one's ever come back from the vault. Because it has important science and we need that important science. Um, and man, do I not want to be here because some kind of plant experiment went super wrong and every humanoid I have found is a weird spore monster and I just don't love it. So I'm like very much ready to leave. Are these all empty? God dang it. Rex, you gotta be quiet, buddy. You gotta, you gotta... Sh I gotta be a little shush. You gotta be a little quiet. Science is technology is death. I don't want to say that necessarily, but why is this glowing? Oh, it's the vending machine. What the hell is this? Entry number eight. I guess no one will miss this ridiculous trivia game. The questions weren't even that hard. It looks like this is where most of the people were when they died. The medical reports I found suggested that most of them succumbed to some kind of airborne infection. I'm going to see if I can convert some of the glow lamps into UV spectrometers to test the air for contaminants. After numerous attempts, I found a range that highlights the particles in the air that I believe killed everyone in this vault. Preliminary tests show them to be spores of some kind. I've set up spectrometers on several of the levels now, and the concentration appears to increase in the lower levels. At this point, I'm concerned that the plants here may constitute a danger to the people of the NCR. Yeah, I don't want this technology to go to the doctor man who wanted it, because it seems real bad. Oh, I'm with you, Blaze. I Here's the thing. I don't even want to give this guy this tech, because the, the, the scientist who was asking for this, it's kind of a sketchy guy. Like, he seemed like someone who was like, I'll do anything to meet the ends that I want to meet. Um, and this technology seems super not good. Want oh, to be like a hundred caps reward? I wouldn't be surprised if you tried to pull out a gun and, and just take me out. <laughs> you should eat some of the food in the contagious sport to be Z's vault. Uh, what? Look, I know I'm running a smarty pants build while not being a smarty pants, but even I know I shouldn't put things in my mouth that make people turn green. That seems very not smart. I don't like any of this. Ugh. Hey, Fungus, it's a rare item in the corner of the cafeteria. Thank you for that. So, uh, for anyone who's hopping in, I don't like vaccinating. That's just like, yeah, you're not shooting right. But, like, me missing important things, that I do like knowing. Hold on. Um, this is the cafeteria? Hey, Fungus. I'll do a second sweep. The Fungus is among us. <laughs> Okay, not this room, but it's okay. We'll figure it out. It's a red mushroom. All right, I don't know why I'm creeping around. There's nothing here that can hurt me. Famous last words. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Um, red mushroom. Oh, this. Hey, fungus. I'm running Lord to Death build? What the hell is that? <laughs> Best thing I can say about Fallout is play how you want. Which I think is very nice. I'm going for a hacky hacky speech build because I want to learn everything and fight as little as possible. I don't, I'm not really an FPS player, so I want to avoid doing FPS if I can help it. This is not going to be good. This is not going to be good. This is, this is not going to be good. I just know there's going to be creepy plant people hiding in the weeds and I don't want to have to meet them. What is that? clicking sound. I don't want to meet whatever that clicking sound is. I hate this. Hate this. I hate this so much. It's just electric sparks. That doesn't mean I like it, though. Terminal? There we go. Cool cabinet. Ooh, flame or fuel? Don't mind if I doodle. 
There's flamer fuel here. Is there a flamethrower here? No? Hmm. Ugh. <laughs> I am also dumber than a brick. That's not true. Ticket one, strange noises. Problem, noises invent. Action, sent a team to inspect. Result, source of problem not detected. Ticket two, gas leak question mark? Reports of possible gas leak. Several people have complained of coughing fits and other respiratory symptoms. Action. Complete diagnostic of air circulation system. Result. Discovered minor discrepancies in the mass of the air being pumped through the vault, but no harmful gases were detected. Also, a strange residue is detected on the air filters, which has been forwarded for identification. Swapped out the filters just in case. This is the maintenance system. All right. There was a flamethrower in the vault. Oh, God. What the hell? This is what's making that zappy zap. Laser pistol? Sure. Sorry, I know it's really loud and it's mucking with the audio. Tire iron. That looks like a flamethrower, baby. Well, I'm not a smarty pants, but I know when a video game gives you a bunch of ammo for a specific weapon, it's gonna come in handy. So I'm probably gonna start carrying that around. Sorry if I save a lot. This game sometimes crashes a bunch. So saving frequently helps avoid problems. I don't want to use the flamer. Well, how much how much ammo do I have for this? 891. Is that enough? I don't know if I should equip it yet. Should I equip it? I you know what? If the game's giving it to me, I should probably equip it. Occasionally save in a new spot as well. I should do that. Here's the problem. If you have too many save files, the game will start crashing a lot. Uh, which is what I ran into earlier. There's someone over there. I see you, mister. I see you. Nope, that's not what I want. That's what I want. Hold on. Ha ha! Look at me go! I got, I got, I got, I got good vision with these glasses on, y'all. Oh! Hold on. It's weird that they don't fight you until you pass them. No, now I'm gonna have bad vision. God dang it. <laughs> How could you do this to me? Terminal. You're hidden at the moment? Oh, oh that's right, because Lily gives me really good sneak stuff. Uh, patient case database, case 162. Patient Harrison T. Peters. Dr. Peters is suffering from a severe case of pneumonia, the result of the spread of some sort of microorganism in his lungs. I've applied the usual treatment and requested that he refrain from working and stop by twice a day for observation. Case 164 group. Pam Mitchell, Michael Cordella, Samwise Horton, Naoki Fujimoto, Kenneth Derrida. This entire group showed up throughout the course of the day displaying the same symptoms. They're remarkably similar to Dr. Peter's condition when he first came in a week ago. I hope we don't have a contagion on our hands. 162 update. Dr. Peters isn't responding to the treatment, or more accurately, his body is actively rejecting the treatment. His condition has worsened and I'm on the cusp of ordering exploratory surgery. 173 group. Elizabeth Bailey, Marsha Bailey, hate... Amy Hayes Garfield. Veronica Jenkins Herman. God, that's a lot of names. These are all like the, the, the family members, I think. Another group with chills, a fever, and a terrible racking cough. I'm recommending that they get separated from the general populace. 162 update. Dr. Peters is dead. His vitals flatlined 10 minutes before he entered surgery. I decided to perform an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Pengu! Thank you so much for the prime sub. What the heck? You you decided to use your prime sub with me? That's so nice. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. 
Thank you, thank you. Did she read Fallout New Vegas yet? <laughs> uh, Ian, we're in Fallout Vault 22 right now. Uh... Strangely, the fungus still shows evidence of growth despite the death of its host. I'll consult with one of my the mycologists on the fifth level and see if they can identify it. 162 update. I don't really know how to describe what just happened. One minute I was closing up for the day and the next Dr. Peter's corpse sat up and attacked me. I was able to flee to the office and seal him, it, inside until security arrived. But what the hell's going on? If all the recent illnesses are the same thing... Huh, that's not good. Anyone in here? Hmm? Hmm? Ooh. Oh, this is the surgery room. Okie dokie. Uh, any fun things to steal? Any fun things to steal? No. Dr. Peters is absolutely still in here. He's gonna be something behind somewhere, right? Like, let's... He's gotta be. He's gonna be here. Is this what I was just reading? Yeah, okay. Oh, God. Did you loot that med kit? No, I did not. Thank you. Where? Jet, forceps, scalpel. Where is the med kit? Behind you on the wall. I'm smart. I'll figure this out. There it is. Thank you. Nice. Thank y'all. I always forget to look for those. Oh, great. Zombie mushroom. It sounds more like something allows for the mushroom to keep developing, even though it doesn't have anything to feed off of. What? There we go. Moss somber? Moss monsters? Zombies? Moss bees? <laughs> Any other spookies? I hate it here. Quarters. God. There's gonna be a lot of these in here. Cordyceps? Panty boys. Oh, gross. Hello. Goodbye. What do you think is causing the plants to do this? Oh, God. I'm not a smarty pants. Ooh. All right, door. Card, 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 card key for Vault 22. Useful. Um, what I... So, here's the information we... Gross. Here's the information we have so far. Um... Why did it die like that? So, this was a facility that was trying to figure out how to grow things in such a way oh god what the hell where'd you come from oh that's a kid that's so messed up that's a child definitely a family that was quarantined in their room so this is a facility that was trying to figure out how to create plants in the post-apocalypse right um and somehow something went wrong with their growth acceleration science. It sounds like there's bugs, which I hate. Um, and for whatever reason, these plant, these once human, now plant beings don't like being outside of the plant, which is confusing. Um, there's gonna be something funky in here. Oh! Store plant. Can I become one of those in this game? Can that happen? You're immune? Thank God for that. Because that would be absolutely hor- It would be interesting if you had to, like, do a quest to cure it or something. Um. God, I hate this. I hate this so much. I don't like... Lore-wise, yes. Gameplay, no. Or it. Get oh, God! It's okay, sweetheart. The bad people are all gone. 
Lily, thank you. I... Oh, interesting. The player character is not exposed long enough to have any effect. Man, I feel so bad because these people have been stuck here for hundreds of years, probably with no sense. Because it seems like they are kind of like zombies. Like, they die and then reanimate seems to be the situation. Um... So, why are there so many mushrooms on this map? Mm. Yeah, they're, they're essentially, like, on the bright side, they don't feel anything now. But they still had to, like, you know, pass away from this weird virus, which is deeply sad. Um, take the jumpsuit. I do have one. I think I have one. I thought it'd be fun to have a vault jumpsuit. I don't really know where to go next. Oh, that makes sense. Someone died on the bed. It's environmental storytelling. Bought it. Why is there red? Oh, I have to go to the caves next, don't I? God, I don't want to do this. I hate it here a lot. Ba boop ba doop boop. Ba doop ba doop boop boop. Maybe if I sing a jaunty song, it won't be so upsetting, you know? <sighs> okay. There's no point in creeping around. Is there? This is the elevator? This is stairs. Okay, I think I know where to go. I don't wanna. Oh wait, no, did I come from food production? So do I wanna take the elevator next? Oh wait, I'm a little turned around. No, I do have to go back to food production, right? Because that's where the cave door was. Yeah. Wow, do I hate this. I hate so much. This is so upsetting. God. All right. Uh. Stairs. Oxygen recycling is the upper floor. I can feel the hate in Clara's heart. It soothes me. How dare you? Distraction dance. Go. It does make me feel a little better. Um, where? It's medicine time now. Where do we go? Is it over here? Where do? Here it is. Big spooky door. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 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 Yeah, this place is so creepy. I hate it. Tigel, thank you very much for the follow. Hello, thank you for the hydrate too. All right. I have a key. Didn't I get a key? There we go. Disengage lock. Good bugs. Just what I needed. Just what I wanted to see. Bugs. God dang it! I... I... God! <sighs> that stuff scares the bejesus out of me. I hate those. I don't know which way to go, but... It's gonna go up. This area can use a flamethrower. I heard. Heard. Thank y'all. Alright, what the hell's gonna be up here? So why did this vault have a cave attached to it? I thought vaults were supposed to be perfectly sealed. So what's the deal with the cave? Oh, that doesn't look good. Oxygen recycling. I don't think...
think this is the way I'm supposed to go. I think this is a shortcut. Vaults are sealed until they aren't. <laughs> so... I wonder if this was a, a, always part of the vault design or if this came later. This vault was particularly chosen for this cave. That's what I was thinking. Man, this is an old cave system. To have all these stalagmites and stuff. Whoa. What have these bugs been eating that they're still here? Vault tech actually was not being sus on this one. No, like, I think the technology... Oh my god. The technology seems pretty, um sensible God. uh you know what yeah maybe i don't want to know what they've been eating oh mantises are cannibalistic i didn't know that Ooh. oh i need oh god i need more science and i need more speech Right? Eight... God! 80 speech, 90 science? God, but... If I get skill books... Then I'll meet the checks. Right? I think I might have skill books for both of these. I have a magazine for science. I don't have one for speech. That's right. I don't have one for speech. We ran into this earlier. I'm gonna have to find one. Okay. I don't really know where to go. Let's just go towards the scary mantises because that's probably gonna have the information I need. Oh, is it dead end? Oh, great. That's true. I couldn't put on my sexy nightgown to up my speech by two. <gasps> Charlie, hello! You're not late. It's a live stream. You live your life and you stop by if you can. It's not a big deal. Hello. We're in Vault 22. It's super spooky. There's mantises and spore people and I hate it. Oh, God. Pest control. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here at all. There's the naughty nightwear. Where the hell do I find that? What is there? Red on my mini map. Have I been here before? No. If it can be found, it can be found at Make It Ralph's. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. Thank you. Species 1, BE908. A distant relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap, species BE908, seems to be performing well. The plants are a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing maws. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by their initial bite. The plant's lack of nobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of a nectar they secrete from their bodies. Why are we designing murder plants? We're supposed to just make it easier to grow plants. Why are we making murder plants? Why? Oh, God. Mantis religiosa. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. The insects are voracious and their camouflage allows them to attack prey by surprise. Also, they complement our botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid or escape our other measures. Lastly, mantises will begin to cannibalize one another when other food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. Great. Wow. Good. Awesome. Belveria morticana, an entomopathogenic fungus. B. Morticana has been developed to colonize the bodies of most common pests. Great, you made you made a zombie virus. Once it has fully colonized a host body, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by means of the fungal colony within it. In this manner, the fungus moves amongst 
more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores in a radius around the host body, infecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey, 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. Why is pest control inventing superbug plants? Why would you do this? Why is this your solution? I hate it here. I hate it here. I This is awful. This is miserable. I think this is a closed room, right? Oh, nope, that's a door. That's a door. Great. 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 I don't think I've been here before. Charlie, no. There's no science like mad science. How about just nice science? Why can't we just be nice? Mom, come pick me up. They're making super bugs for price control. <laughs> God. Oh, man. Sorry, Kaze, hello. Hey, Clara, we have a rat problem. Want to make a super virus slash fungus? <laughs> The sad thing is those who are similar to pest control experiments Monsanto worked on, they didn't pan out, but they were considered that. We'll never learn anything, will we? There's nothing there, right? What? What just happened? What just died? My mom said we can make super bugs if it's cool with your mom. <laughs> no. Thanks, Rex. God, I hate it here. God, I hate it here. Man, I was so excited to explore my first vault. I take it back. I'm not excited. This is awful. I hate this. What the hell? Look, I'm so lucky I have followers that know what they're doing, because I'm completely clueless. Man, I'm so lucky I got grandma. If the plants eat you, just eat it back. What? Why? No, this is not where I want to be. This is where I want to be. I want to be in there? Can I go in there? There's no doors. This is just an empty room. One there. Better not be. No, I'm not gonna pick that. You want zombie Clara? That's how you get zombie Clara. Oh, hey there. Wait, what the hell? Who the hell? The fire's not enough? God. And now there's bugs. Are you joking me? Hold on. What did this door say? No access. Authorized personnel only. Oh, I overrode this with the overseer's fancy computer. Um. Download research data. Current data integrity 31%. Alright, so Dr. Hildern wants this data. Fires damage over time. Oh, perfect. You need a constant stream. Got it. Thank you. I got it, right? I don't want to give this guy this data, though. Um, I might just tell him it didn't exist because... This doesn't seem like a responsible thing to try and do a second time, right? We can all... We, can we all agree this seems like a bad idea? Like... Unless we can specifically isolate the technology to make the plants grow nice. I don't want him getting his little grubby hands on this. This is bad, okay? This is not good. Alright, um... Oh, the door was ripped off the hinges. That's 3,300 pounds of, of, of pressure. That's gotta be a heavy door. What was able to do that? Oh my god. 
Yeah, I don't want to give him that data. I'm going to tell you that right now. I am negative interest in that. He did not give me good vibes. Um, so we're not, we're not doing that. Mm-mm. No thanks. Stairs. Uh, common areas? I don't need to go there. Go upstairs to fix the problem for good. Can this be fixed? Because I would like to get rid of this. Oh, God. There's a bug. Thanks, Lily. Thanks, Mima. Give him the data for science. No. Lying is wrong. Um, lying because you're not going to hurt people with bad science. That is a moral good. There is a different path. I would love a different path if I can. Oh. Air 14 prototype. Energy cell. Oh, this must have been the Explorer because it looks like they got a Pip-Boy on their arm. That's a shame. What is this? What was that called? Air 14 prototype. It's not the Explorer, though? Oh. I thought that looked like a Pip-Boy on their arm. Okay, well, I'm glad I did that. Um... Oh, I'm getting all turned around. Have I been here? Nope. Rex, finish it off. Good boy. Oh, it's... Leftover sleep. Yum! Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, tasty. I love it. I got a room reload. Oh, hey, there's a little friend there. Nope, I want to reload this. Can I? There we go. I don't want to waste flamer fuel right now, so... Thank you for the hydrate. Hi there, friend. I see you doing a little peekaboo. You want to play peekaboo? Peekaboo your noggin. Let's let's play. Let's play. Nope. Wanted to play peekaboo. There we go. Is this Fallout 3 or Vegas? This is Vegas. I have never played any Fallout games before. This is my first ever Fallout game. And I'm currently in Vault 22. And I hate it here. Somebody was trying to create plants that would grow in the apocalypse. Oh, these are all spore plants. Um, should I be setting these all on fire? The spore plants? Hmm. Sorry, somebody basically invented, um, murder... What? Basically, they invented a zombie virus where, um, people who are exposed to this fungus die and then get reanimated. These are all dead ends, right? These are all dead ends. Yeah. So... Am I missing anything? I feel like I'm missing something. Let's... Common area's gotta cut through the observation room. Thank y'all! Oh, should I go back to the caves first? Oh, there's blood on the wall. That's good and safe. I think this is the caves, right? No, that's food production. Yeah, how did these people navigate this place? I think I have to cut back through food production, though. Stretch, thank you for the follow. Yeah, here we go. I want to be here. Gotta love some blood cake balls. Yeah, mmm, just tasty, tasty. Yum, yum, yum. Uh, dead end? Dead end. Okay. God, I don't like it here. I don't like it here one bit. boop a doo all right, that's the dead end, too. 
So this way? That was the door I came in from. This was another door up here that I didn't end up going into. So let's try this door this time. I'm also gonna just drink a little Sunset Sarsaparilla because my health's not doing great. Where? Sunset Sarsaparilla. What is Sarsaparilla? Is that a dumb question? Hello? Spooky bugs. Can't tell if that's dirt or blood. It's related to root bear, I think. Oh. I'd be interested to try a sunset sarsaparilla then. I don't like it in here. I can't see nothing. It's too dark. Oh, what the hell? I could have sworn I just saw something flying. Oh. I think I know where this room is in relation to the other rooms. It was all blocked off. Yeah. But there's nothing in here. It's a big old nothing sandwich. Peppa filter. Do I want this? I think I want this. Yeah. I'm glad I was a little more thorough. That's right, because somebody in the logs, well, the maintenance guy, was talking about changing out the filters. Okay, maybe I can use that then. Okay, before I leave, is there anything else in that room that I need? I don't think so. I think that's the only thing that had anything in it. I didn't see anything on tables. God, I can't see a ding dang thing. All right. Doc. Shoot, doc. Okay, I believe that's the entire cave system explored. Um. Mm, no, really? Oh, shoot. What am I missing? Pest control, oxygen recycling, common areas. Oh, did I go to common areas yet? To the depths? How do I get to the depths? Because this is food. That's pest control. I went to pest control. This way. Forget what is this way. Dead end. I have not found the missing ghoul yet. And this, I believe, was also a dead end. Let me double check that, though. Yeah. So, I either need to go through... I think Maybe I have to go through pest control? Thank you. Maybe <laughs> having my glasses will make this easier. Let's see. What do you like in and on your hamburgers? So... <laughs> I can't eat a lot of um, fried foods, tragically. Um, so I don't eat burgers a lot. When I have them, my ideal burger is... Honestly, I really like veggie burgers. Um, but I'll, if it's like a classic beef burger, I will have it with a fried egg, avocado, um, lettuce or spinach, mayo... A little bit of onion. Um, mushroom, if it's an option. That's a sandwich I really like. That's a burger I really like. These stairs go to common areas. Let's try this. Make hot pockets. Oh, yum. Oh, and then this is the dead end. Okay. Yeah, I may have to look up a guide. I'm a little turned around. Mushrooms are amazing and mandatory. My thing is, I really like mushrooms, but it's super annoying when they're um, very, very small on burgers because then it's like hard to eat, you know? Um, I think it's 
It's weird that you can search those plants. You want a guide? I would love a guide. I am extremely lost. <laughs> I would very much appreciate it. And I'll also, yeah, I don't want to make y'all feel like you have to help me with this. I don't mind pulling up a guide to, um... Go back to the overseer's room. Okie dokie. That's gonna be... God, I wish I had the elevator. I'm gonna have to go... No, not this way. Not this way. Not this way. Uh, this way. Up here. Check James' chat in Discord. Thank you! Michael, thank you. I'm in the right section. There is no overseer office here, though. Right? Like, I have to go back... I have to go through food production, right? Because on this map, the only ways out of here are the common areas or food production. Wait. What is that? There's a room. Secret holding mushrooms together is with lots of cheese. I will say, I want to get the good ending too. Envy, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How was stream? I want to hear all about it. If you got to go do post-stream care, don't worry about it. Feel free to go do that. But thank you so much for hopping in. Um, all right, hold on. Let me open Discord. I am so sorry, y'all. I am so lost. I was going to say, before I forget, because I have two brain cells to rub together, um, Shake Shack has a veggie burger that is very good. Um, it is a giant portobello mushroom, deep fried with um cheese wrapped around it and it's so good thank you for this wiggles thank you i've been running around like a moron i can't use the elevator because i don't have it repaired i don't have a high enough repair level oh my god this is such a big layout um oh god this is so confusing um Beep, 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 beep. I can you know what I might just fix the freaking elevator because this is kind of a mess right <laughs> I think I think I think I'm just gonna, you know what? Because this is taking way too long and I'm so lost. All right. Um, let me just go fix the freaking elevator because I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm running around in circles. Man, living in this vault would have sucked. This place is so confusing. Where's my elevator? Thank you for head pads. Thank you, thank you all. Cause I don't want to be, I don't want to like these, these guys are so dense. <laughs> Just want to get through this. I want to read my repair book. Repair book. Repair the elevator. Okay. I want to go to the overseer's office, right? That was back in oxygen recycling. Oh, I'm on the correct level? Hold up. Turn around. Okay. That way is the dead end common areas. That way is... I don't remember. This way? Down the hall. Okay, this is room number one. And this is room number two. My, I think I need to remember one. There's nothing in the second room. Yeah, got it. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, I played this vault months ago. Seriously, I'm turned around. I'm so lost. I'm heading this way. Okay, so going this way. I was here. And then I was here. I can't open this door. It's locked. Um, I might have a lock picking booster, but... This room? A 
Oh, is there a secret room here? Oh. Secrets. I do need to get in that lock room. There's another entrance near the one with the hard lock door. This one? That I'm already in or back by... Oh! I'm a ding dong! Oh my god. Thank you so much for your patience. It was literally... It was right here. And I just didn't bother to... It's so freaking dark in here. Thank you! Oh my god. Seriously, I need you to understand. I really appreciate your patience. <laughs> This game is so freaking... I have a little light on, but it's a little dinky light. I guess we'll just go down? Oh, God. Do I have to go down there? Do I have to go down there? No, don't say yes. Don't say... No... <laughs> Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. Getting my flamethrower. I'm not. I'm not messing around. I hate this. God, are my friends here? Thank God. What the hell? What the hell? Cool. Giant mantises. I am delighted by the existence of giant mantises. This... Ooh, gross. Ew, why is its mouth like that? Oh, God. Number four legs? I got three four legs. Because I thought they have no weight and, and value, so I figured I can sell them. Oh, God. Get the hell out of here. Oh, I'm sorry. Max, I'm sorry. I love you, puppy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're a good boy. Mm, I'm sorry, bud. You can cook them? Ew! 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 Good boy. God, that's a spore plant. God! So many bugs! You got this, buddy. What the hell? Guess I have to go into the spooky cavern. I hate this. God. Don't call him dog meat. What the hell? Mantis of Tokyo? God, I what in the hell? I don't like this. Oh god, what the what do you mean danger? Oh god! That's what you mean danger is big old spit boy plant. Nice job, buddy. Um, how do I get I am not a fan of the giant mantis dumpy. Ew, is that what that is? Is that a, is that its butt that it like shed? Oh my god, I go up the creepy root. The giant hole in the wall. Great. This is phenomenal. I love this. This is great. Yeah, this is don't leave yet. <laughs> Why? Oh, is our ghoul friend gonna be down here somewhere? seeing much though i didn't say that <laughs> i know i am smart and can infer here no yeah there's like little holes and crevices everywhere this sucks um... hey buddy bang on a rock if you can hear me Oh god, this is gonna take forever. Hello? Maybe I should look for a lot of mushrooms? Because 
that's where the bodies end up doing um where's my rock <laughs> That's a plant. Uh, southeast. Thank you. So this place is humongous. This quest does not feel great to navigate. Thank you for hanging, Ian. Have a good one. Oh my God. Is it in here? Did I like walk over it? No. Ugh. Is it Straya or Straja? Thank you so much for the prime sub. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Hello, I'm just stretching my hands real quick. Vaults are giant mazes, but it's like, I don't know. I understand that the ghoul can't give us a tip of like, I think I'm dying. I'm gonna go die in this section of the cave. Like, obviously, they can't give you a quest marker for that, but man, this is a needle in a haystack. What am I doing wrong? North, south, east, west. I So I should be going this way, right? In theory, there should be a... Uh, body around these parts hello mr corpse hello could you make yourself more obvious please mr corpse dang narbit Somebody look up if there's a glitch of it not showing. Well, that would be tragic. Wait, what is that? Just a plant. Okay. I'm gonna pull up a... a thing that tells me where the body is. I'm looking for... Is the quest? No. What is this quest called? Boop a doop a doop a doop. Here it is. Yeah, it's there, lies the grass. Hold on. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Blah, 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 blah. Override the doors with the key card. Go to food production. Do all that. Do all that. To find Keely. Keely can be found at the far end of the caves. She's on the south end of the cavern, sitting alone next to a mantis pod. She will ask the player to meet her in her lab on level two. Uh far end of the caves on the south end sitting alone next to a mantis pod okie dokie so south next to a mantis pod here's one mantis pod you don't have the quest doesn't spawn at all is that how do i have the quest you didn't talk to the assistant who gives you the quest? Oh no! Oh no! Oh, hold on, there's... Sorry. If I leave... and... talk to... the assistant... Did I... did I... Oh, did I screw this up? She was supposed to ambush you after the doctor gave you the quest? Oh, I might have teleported too fast or something. Um, Can I go and talk to her or did I totally bork this whole thing? Did I just buck it up? 
Oh. There's no optional part. Yeah, let me... You know what? It's at least worth a try, right? Because worst case scenario, I messed up. Oh, can I not teleport out of here? Oh, where's my... Mm, can I reload a save? Perfect. I saved right before jumping. So... This might not work if I talk to Hildern, though, because I have the information. Oh, God. I should have left a save before I went in here. I should have done that, and I forgot. All right, well, let me get out of here. Yeah, let me talk to her without talking to Hildern and see if we can force whoever Keely is to spawn. I just gotta find the elevator. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Thank you all so much for taking the time to help me troubleshoot this. I really <laughs> appreciate it so much. <laughs> all right. Okay, good thing we have that elevator fixed up. We want to get out of here. Where is the... This was the way out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I'm very glad we at least had... Yeah, the elevator was a good investment. I do not regret that at all. You can just live in blissful ignorance and leave her down there since she doesn't exist. <laughs> all right, we're gonna go to... Aunt McCarran. We're not gonna talk to Hildern. Um, we're gonna talk to... Um... Doctor. I'm here for moral support. I appreciate it, though. I, I feel bad. I was like... I am. We can still get the good ending. Let's at least try. There's a programmer's digest in the entrance of the vault. Oh! I... I think I grabbed it. I don't remember now, but that I think I might have... We can definitely check when we get back. Um... Thank you for that. Okay, um... Looking for a doctor who's not Healy. Forget what... I think he was back here. I did grab it. Thank you! I was... Like, I think I did, but, you know... Who are you? Did Dr. Hildern... This really isn't any of my business, but... What? Did he give you a job? He did. He asked me to get some data from Vault 22. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then, about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius, and... And he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Nope, but I, I maybe did find some of them. Nope, Hildern didn't mention anyone else. But now he's hired you. Which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley, and she failed. Or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich. Not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. Mm. But I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Yeah, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. I have some questions. Can you tell me anything else about Keeley? Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? Mm. <laughs> they were roommates! <laughs> uh, exactly how old is Keeley? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. How do Keely and Hildern get along? Like a Brahmin and a Death Claw, oh. though I'm not sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Death Claws in their way. Keely hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way of true discovery. And Hildern hates Keeley because, well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. <laughs> in front of important people, usually. 
I like Keely. What's your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. What do you think of Dr. Hildern? The director? He's very well spoken mm. and knowledgeable. Very diplomatic. He seemed focused on results, maybe not so much on people. He's not what you'd call warm, unless he wants something from you. And even then, it's kind of a cold warm. Most of the time, I focus on the science and try to forget him. He doesn't get mixed up in any actual work, though he tells people that he does. So Dr. Hildern takes credit for your work? He sure does. Everyone knows it. I've just got to endure this job until the project is finished. But abandoning Keeley, he crossed a line. Taking credit for other people's work is one thing. Sending people to die in the waste is another. If Hildren tries to recruit any more mercs, I'm going to warn them. What can he do to me? I'm the only one who can run this lab. What an icon. Hildren mentioned the followers of Apocalypse. My father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Mm. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildren trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. What is OSI? I hear the food around here is pretty bad. It's foul to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside. Even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Okay. Right. I wonder if he'd be interested in that weird food flavoring I found. If you need a meeting people, you can buy one at the New Vegas Clinic from Julie Farkas. Oh, nice. I... Office of Science and Industry. Thank you. I might have bought it. Well, we'll find out. Thank you all so much. All right, so now we can go back. Oh, my God. Gonna go back to Fault 22. And thankfully, everything should still be dead, so I don't have to kill things twice. And if Keely doesn't spawn now, then I broke something. And that would feel bad. You know what? I'm gonna just create a save. Bugs and zombies stay dead. I just... I That would suck so hard. Alright, I had to get... Oh, God. Now I have to remember how to get back to that spot. It was... Pest control? I think? Snowwolf, hello! Thank you so much for bringing your community here. Welcome, raiders. I'm Clara Dogford. How was stream? If you, um... If you have to go do post-stream care, please feel free. But thank you for bringing people here. Yeah, it's the, it's the false back door over here. There we go. <laughs> Vault 22 is one of the better vaults to visit. If you can find your way around without getting lost, it's almost like you're King Lizard of Jurassic Park. <laughs> Wolfraid, 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 hello! Okay, we're gonna jump down. Oh, there's a red enemy. I killed everything. Interesting. Some of the bugs respawned. That respawned. Oh, wait. No, I never went down here. That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah, that's right. I loaded before I jumped. So I forgot. Oh, God. God. This scares me so much. Gonna do a lurk. No worries. Thank you for getting, for bringing your community here. Please go take care of yourself. Uh, Keely, if you're here, you should be around here. Hello. Keely. Hello. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. There we go. Morning. Heidi ho there. Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you? Tragically, no. Uh, specifically, Angela Williams did. Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. 
Yeah, let me help. This is awful. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. Okay, okay. Can we go together? Nice. Let's just all go as a party. You can kill that little cutscene. I probably should. The only good thing about it is then I know if there's an enemy around and I can see that it died. It just gives me a little jump scare now and again. Like that. God. This way. Got all turned around. I'm looking to go upstairs. Wow, 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 wow. I'm really glad there's an alternative to this because, man... Healy's just the worst. Or not Healy, I'm sorry, the other guy. Upstairs. I hate how the trigger turns you around. Like, I wish it just, like, froze me in place, essentially. <clears throat> What's this? Did you do these repairs? Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, you're a flattery. Saves me time, I guess. See you upstairs. Cool. Hildren isn't, like, the worst. He's just kind of... I don't know. He's all about results. And at a certain point, if people keep ending up missing, maybe ask yourself, like, why? You know? Hey there. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Yeah. Sure. How can I help? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. Cool, great. <laughs> Janitor J, thank you so much for the follow. Just found your channel thanks to TikTok. No worries. Thank you so much for stopping in. I appreciate that so much. I usually stream like Thursday to Sunday. Um, feel free to check out my Discord or Twitter if you're ever looking for schedule updates. But thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, tell your... Cause a big brain. Tell my followers to wait here. Should I have them wait outside or can I have them wait on the second floor? Um, how exactly should I ignite the gas? In the area where the gas is active, any kind of fire or explosion should do the trick. Hell, even lasers would do the job. If you don't have anything like that, I've got some grenades in my bag in the corner that you can use. Uh, yeah, so I had a TikTok kind of blow up. Um, and I've had that happen before, which is extremely flattering and it's very nice because that algorithm is a nightmare. Um, but in the past when it's blown up, like not much usually ends up happening. So I didn't really get my hopes up. So it's, <laughs> I'm mostly just very grateful that people are choosing to stop by and check me out. That is extremely sweet. Um, I do have that explosive. Quest is kind of hard here. Thank you for the warning. Honestly, this quest has been hard just to, like, navigate it. Um, any idea where these vents are? I set the gas to pump into the fifth level since that's where the concentration of spores was highest. I've Hi. started looking there. Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation <laughs> systems. Look for a wall with two of them almost side by side. There's one just around the corner outside this lab if you need an example. Perfect. Last? Yes, there'll be an explosion when the gas is ignited, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Now leave me to my work. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll do it. Good. Okay, so first we're gonna have my friends wait here. So I'm gonna have you guys come over here. Good boy, wait here. All right, Grandma. Stay, stay, do watch the dog and watch Keely. Okay, um, what does the vent look like? Is it looking like... He least said it was around the corner, right? These. These are what I'm looking for. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> okay, this is why we told you to get the long views. Thank you all so much for that foresight. They're on the fifth level, according to Keely. So I gotta go find the elevator. We're gonna grab the fifth floor. And so I just need to find a wall with two venties. Vents, vents, vents. Cave. 
<laughs> Here it is. Oh, I just like throw it there, right? Okay, so I'm gonna create a second save. Find a hiding spot first. Oh, smart. I was just gonna huck a grenade at it. Um, so how does long fuse dynamite work? Because I've never used it before. I can probably duck and cover in here, right? You know what? Sometimes the best way to learn is by doing. I died. <laughs> okay, so fire spread. <laughs> well, what? God, I thought the mantis lived. All right, so let's just, well, you know, sometimes you gotta crack a few eggs, sometimes you gotta crack your own skull and catch it on fire. So I have to just run. Oh, closable door. I was just gonna run for it. That's much smarter. Okay. Try number two. Close, close. Close. Oh. <sighs> that worked. All right. Spores have been purged. Wow, 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 wow. Nope, that's wrong. This way. Fire bad. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Never done it that way before. Thank you for the door closing, because I was just going to run. That was, yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, I want to pick up my friends, please. This way. Follow me. Puppy. All right. Hey, friend, I blew stuff up. Ah, good. You survived. <laughs> I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spores should no longer be a problem. Nice. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. Thousand percent agree. Yep. I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Yeah, those files were awful. <laughs> Indeed. This should only take a minute. Just a few more moments, and that's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied to an external. Yeah, source. that was a mistake. You wouldn't have Yeah, I did that. I didn't mean to. That, I did you? that. Um, I copied the files. Hilder and sent me to get them. Yes, that sounds like something he'd do. Well, there's nothing for it then. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Deleting those files makes it more likely that this will happen again. Oh! Science 70, what does this lead to? How do you figure that? Science isn't just about success. Failures are just as important to learn from. I suppose the data here could serve as a warning to other scientists. Tell them what paths of research not to follow. Exactly. Without that knowledge, something similar is bound to occur. Oh! All right. You convinced me. Take the files back to that buffoon. You make a good point. But I still honestly hope you know what you're doing. I've unlocked the door, so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Oh, I gained karma. But I still don't know. I... Mm, part of me still feels like I should delete these, but... I gotta flex that science 70, right? So I wanna get out of here. I wanna go back upstairs. We're standing! And all it took was a lot of crying and confusion and chat patiently telling me where to go. <laughs> God, and now I never have to come back. God, this was the worst. I can make him pay through the nose? Yeah, true. There is a timeline where I burnt to a crisp. <laughs> Moral high ground and money. It's a win, win, win. <laughs> plants. Plants for everyone. 
Never have to come back until the second quest, don't you dare. I hope you're not serious. Oh my god. Please, no! Yeah, next time I play through this, I can just come with enough science and repair to skip all the travel, and I'll know to talk to the person first, and I don't have to worry about all that. Um... That was a really cool quest, but god, did I hate it in there. It was so spooky! Shark, welcome back! Each vault has at least five quests? Why? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. In my bed, my beanbag boy is more comfortable. <laughs> you have a beanbag? That sounds cozy as hell. Uh, hello? Alright, first, to the person I actually care about. Guess what? Keely's alive! Keely just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up! Now look here! She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about Honestly, you. Honestly, I don't want your caps. Oh, well, 800. Maybe I do want your 800 caps. I was going to say, Thanks like, again. you're really not a very you. rich person. I'm happy to help Keely. Keely, I would much rather have in Hildern's position than Hildern. Hildern sucks. Something I can do for I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Oh, you need any help? Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week. But so far, he hasn't spoken a word. Meanwhile, you get like 100 to 200 caps for saving entire towns. To be fair, like, I think it makes sense for a scientist to still have more money because they have to, like, you know, buy materials and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, the fiends? As in chem fiends. Biggest gang of raiders I've ever seen. Nothing like addiction to swell your numbers. Psychotic and completely unpredictable. They set up shop in Vault 3 to the west. Every day they attack our positions and my men repel them. But every day there's more of them and less of us. I sent one of my rangers after their leader to try and destabilize them. He didn't return. That's not good. Hell of a thing, losing a ranger. You come to depend on them. And they come through for you so often, you forget it can happen. Yeah, I'll go to Vault 3. That vault is a hornet's nest. If you have second thoughts, no one would think less of you for it. But if you can get him home, it'd mean a lot. Watch for civilians, too. Oh, the great. The fiends have been kidnapping locals. They just walk right into people's homes in the middle of the day and take them. But the man you're looking for is Bryce Anders. Anders was trying to find the leader, Motor Runner. You hear something like a chainsaw? You've found Motor Runner. Put a bullet in his head, and you'll have some new friends around here. Sure. Uh, any other problems? I might as well just grab all these quests real quick, you know? Yeah. On top of everything else... I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Interesting. I bet I could make the Legion prisoner talk. I have Lieutenant Boyd on that already, and she's excellent. But I think she's hit a wall. Talk to her if you like. See if she has any use for you. Yeah, I'll just bully him. This is right above mine, but I think she might be interrogating right now. So she'd be upstairs on the other side of the building. I studied Latin. I'll just bully the guy in Latin. How hard could it be? Just emasculate him. Simple, simple. Um, you seem calm. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you. And it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. It's a pretty good philosophy for somebody who's in, um... Oh, I could look into who's leaking intelligence. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements, and it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. <coughs> I'm so sorry. The air's so dry right now. Um, sorry, I do, I will talk to Hildern. I didn't forget, I just didn't realize I haven't talked to this guy yet, and clearly he has a lot of quests. Um, 
So I figured I'll like, <laughs> thank you for the hydrate. I figured I'll grab everything from this guy real quick and then I'll go talk to Hildern. Um. All right, I'll come talk to you again later because I'm gonna have quests to complete with him. Um. I don't remember where Hildern's office is. Is he around the corner here? I can't believe I walked past her. God dang it. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Kaze, no worries. Thank you so much for hanging. Have a great day. I brought the data from Vault 22. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. Um, by the way, the vault was just as... D oh. Mm, hold on. So, I want to bully him about how Keeley was right. But I also want caps. I'm going to go for how, how dangerous William thought it was. Chubby, hello! North Prince, hello! I'm going to go for Williams. I don't see how that's relevant. The dangers of the vault were your business, not mine. The only question is whether the data is still intact. I think William's decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. Uh, <laughs> you owe me more caps. But you didn't see... I, this is more important. You didn't see the plants in that vault. Your concerns are perfectly understandable. But I assure you, they're entirely misplaced. We would never use technology that wasn't fully tested. We aren't some motley band of vault alchemists. We're with the government, for goodness sake. Have a little faith in us. I have less faith. I have way less faith, buddy. Oh yeah, I'm helping the NCR. Rose, hello, welcome in. Yeah, we're we're playing Fallout New Vegas. All right, cool. I can. Oh, glasses off. Okay. There's an unmarked quest if you can find Corporal William Farber about that the food additive. Oh, that's right, because the the Williams had mentioned that. Let me let me see if I can hunt him down. Thank you for that. Um. So... So I need, in order to help Lily, I need a science of 90. Thank you for head pads. Bah, 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 bah. Science of 90. And a speech of 80. But you know what? Here's what I can do. Here's what I can do. I do need a little bit more in guns. And I do have a magazine to help me with speech. Saw your YouTube video with the Scarlet and Violet. Great to Twitch. Well, thank you so much for checking me out. I heckin' appreciate that. Oh, hold on. I will blep. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate you checking me out. That's so sweet of you. Um, if you're interested, speaking of Scarlet and Violet, um, quick reminder for you all. I am doing a Pokemon Snap style photo review stream tomorrow. So if you've taken any screenshots in Scarlet Violet, Sword and Shield, um, Pokemon Go, if you've done any Pokemon fan art and you would like to show it off, I'm gonna be doing a stream where we look at that tomorrow. Um, so that's gonna be, you can post it on Discord or Twitter, all the information's in the Discord, um, but yeah, oh yeah, I have hands. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. <laughs> I don't know why that's, I, I say I have hands and my, my immediate, my immediate brain is just, whip, whip. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wiggles, I appreciate that. Oh, no, Azazel, I totally know what you're saying. Everyone's been telling me this since I started the game. I always use energy weapons, and then I don't put any points into energy weapons, so maybe I should do that. Um, although... Mm -hmm. I do like... I, I should be using rifles more. Because I... I mm, mm. Oh, I also want to get my repair up a bit. I also want to get my lock pick up. I think I'm going to do this. Because, yeah, I'm good on guns. And both of those stats should get me to these skill checks. I love 3D models. 
that's awesome i um i did the rigging on my model so uh, i'm really proud of that <laughs> i wish i had hands <laughs> Zane, I could make you little hand PNGs <laughs> if you really wanted. <laughs> I could figure it out. Um, cool. I'm gonna do this. I to be very clear, I'm not super worried about min-maxing stats. I don't know what I'm doing. I I'm a little ding dong. What the hell is this? Beams reflect off the mirror-like finish of your gleaming armor. You gain an additional plus five damage threshold against energy weapons while wearing any metal armor. Plus two while wearing reflective eyewear. Can I commission finger guns? Um, if you want like a full finger gun model, we could do that. I guess I could, sorry, quick sidebar for you, Zane. Either I could make you a, a finger gun PNG that you could put in OBS and maybe trigger with like channel points or something, or I could just make a model that has a finger gun animation when it talks. DM me on Twitter. We can see we can figure it out. Don't take in shining armor. It doesn't work. God dang it. It sounded so cool. I hate that. Reload all of your weapon. All of your weapons reload faster. I want this, right? This seems good. All weapons reload faster. That includes like energy weapons and stuff. Or specifically guns. It's not useless. Okay, good. I'm just going to grab that. <laughs> I'm impatient. Hildern, I'm gonna pee in your yes. coffee. You're the worst. Something else you yeah, you smell bad. Hey. You don't deserve your job. There's better people who can do oh, your job better than you. It. Okay. All right. Um, we wanted to look for someone named William. Oh, Willie. Hello, buddy boy. Where are you? I regret to inform you that you've just lost the game. I apologize for any inconvenience. Thank you for playing. Better luck next time. Okay. Hello. Ronald. Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Oh, that's right. Intelligence leaks. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. Where should I start? You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Who should I be talking about to the intelligence leaks again? Well, I'll leave that to you. But I would recommend Lieutenant Boyd and Sergeant Contreras as two people who usually know what's going on around here. I'm a, I'm a, I don't know why I'm a smidge suspicious of you, Curtis. Just a, just a smidge rune. Hello? Oh, it's bathrooms? Okay. Um. Why are the bathrooms marked authorized personnel only? <laughs> Accessible door. Where's homeboy? Work bad, stream good, Jose very tired. Aw, I'm sorry work was bad. That freaking sucks. I really hope the rest of your weekend's better. Upstairs, thank y'all. Um, whoa. Oh, it's a jail. Airport jail. Ooh. Yeah, duck, duck. Oh, nope, I'm not allowed to open it. Okay. Um, is this also a bathroom? No, who are you? Boyd, I have to talk to you later. Oh, that's the interrogation guy. Well, I am here. Why are bathrooms marked for personnel only? Oh, employee bathrooms. Duh. That makes sense. <laughs> you are not authorized to go potty. <laughs> you stick out like a sore thumb around here. You sure you're in the right place? I own multiple rare weapons. I'm going to turn you into goo. How dare you? Who are you? Not big on reading name tags, huh? All right, ma'am. It's okay. My name is long and difficult to pronounce. Ready for it? It's Boyd. Lieutenant Boyd to my friends. Colonel Shu has me handling the policing duties for the base. 
I've told him he could make my job a whole lot easier if he would just let me shoot anyone who talks back to me. But you know how colonels can be. Um... Why do you- why would your friends call you lieutenant? Isn't the whole point of having a title that everyone calls you lieutenant? That's weird. Sentence to an office chair for a hundred years can only be freed by getting bullied from an anime girl. Truly an NCR punishment. Now I want a mod. <laughs> Where the game just yeah, when you fight any enemy of the ncr you just release a bunch of anime girls <laughs> have you noticed anything suspicious lately now what kind of mp would i be if i didn't notice anything suspicious i've had soldiers go awol break-ins thefts you name it all right who's missing well there's anders he's a ranger that one's not suspicious so much as worrisome he left on a dangerous assignment colonel shu sent him out no, I think he feels guilty not having any way to check up on him. What else can you tell me about Anders? I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man to call on if you needed someone to get in and get out quietly. Colonel Shu would really be the person to talk to. Scully, that's so sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> I hope you also have a great day. Thank you for the lurk. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, tell me about the break-ins. Maybe break-in isn't the right word. We didn't find signs of forced entry, but I've had reports of someone sneaking into the control tower at night. It's probably just a meeting spot for a steamy military base love affair. <sighs> Kids today. But it bothers me that they didn't break in. It means they have an access code. Most soldiers around the base don't have that. Hmm, could you give me the control? Sure, if you want to <clears throat> investigate. It's not like there's anything to steal up there. Just a bunch of old communications equipment. If you can find out any more, I'd be interested to hear it. Look, I'm super there's smart. something about this I really don't like. And if I weren't tied up here, I'd be staking it out personally. I'm, I'm super smart, right? If there's a room full of communications equipment, I'm going to communicate with your mom. Because you're the worst. I'm going to take her on a lovely date. So there's been thefts? Not the kind of things you like to see go missing. No witnesses yet. I've got my money on Sergeant Contreras, who's supposed to be in charge of distribution, the little weasel. But he's too slick to let anyone catch him doing it. We've searched his possessions a dozen times. Nothing. I'll keep an eye out. Good. The more guns you can recover, the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept. Great! Do you need any help? Yeah. So far, this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-God centurion of Caesar's legion recently. All right. Better believe it. Everybody, everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy, they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. What do you think it means? Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. Oh, uh, have you tried calling him hurtful names? Hey, Mr. Doodoo -doo Head. Give me information. <laughs> Uh, what about a truth drug? Oh, have you tried just beating him senseless? I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. I'm gonna call him DJ Doodoo Head from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk the Dan, hello! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How's it going? Hello. Uh, so you want me to do what you can't? I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way... We've had our entertainment for the day. <laughs> so I can't commit to torture, but the independent contractor I hired can. 
<laughs> Sounds like a trap if you ask me. No, I'm known to the NCR as a very useful asset. It would be very dumb of her to hurt me. All right, let's get started. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. I'm gonna save this real quick just because I haven't saved yet. Yeah, I want to save just because things can always break. Is there glass here? How did they Long get time no glass? See, Silus. Lieutenant, I was just thinking about you. Ew. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. Ew. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a legion slave collar on it. Ew. I'll pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. Know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles. Buddy! Not quite. Don't involve people you with your just right, in your king without consent. Cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong this to. This guy's just looking for a dom, right? Reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> man! <laughs> <My friend laughs> you know oh, it's one-way mirror from the airport. You know Got it. Rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Enemies to lovers, oh, ayo! <laughs> my friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. I've got hands. Did you know you can use hands to spoon out eyeballs? It's, it can be done. I don't need weapons. It'll be fine. Hi, bud. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? Oh, this is exciting. I think you're confused. I'm with the excrement right now. That's funny, but I want to lie to this guy and really make him sing, you know? I'm with the Legion. I'm here to kill you before you talk. You're nothing. You're some inept mercenary. Oh, did I not have the enough NCR is paying to that? supplement its own incompetent soldiers. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's see. Timeo Danaos et Dona Ferentis. I pose as a mercenary to get inside the walls. Legum servi sumus. We are both slaves to Caesar's law, and you are in violation. How naive, Silas. Corruptio optimi pessima. Caesar sees you as a threat now. Oh, which Latin do we want to flex today? <laughs> I need him to believe my lie. I really need him to believe my lie. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for we're both slaves to Caesar's law. Because that implies that I have inside information. Time to flex on you with my big brain. <laughs> no, listen. Kaisar's secrets are safe with me. I stayed alive because Kaisar would have wanted it. I'm useless to him dead. You're a danger to him alive. Your knowledge threatens him. Come on, buddy. I've told them nothing. They've gotten nowhere. I'm a Kenturian for Christ's sake. I deserve his trust. Caesar's laws are absolute. He does not grant exceptions. You have to let this go. I'll disappear. No one will ever see me again. That was always the plan in the first place. So now we're getting somewhere. His plan was to disappear. So in addition to treason, you're also a deserter. No, that's not what I meant. I... Lieutenant, this woman is trying to kill me. She's not who you think she is. Uh, what? I'm just a dumb pile of excrement. What are you talking about, buddy? I'm just a little pile of poop, right? I'm gonna shove poop down your throat, and then we'll talk about excrement, buddy. Don't cross me! 
Where's the lieutenant? All that shouting. We won't go Honestly, quietly. Silas, you Legion get free room and that. board. The least you could do is be a good guest. Lieutenant, this woman is an agent of the Legion on a mission to kill me. My, we have an active imagination today, don't we? Think about it. Is it worth the risk? You need what I know. Well, it sounds like the two of you are becoming fast friends. It'll be your head if I die, Lieutenant. You'll be disgraced. You know what? I think you're right, Silus. Of course I'm right. Except, I don't care. <laughs> because it'll be worth it. It'll be worth it to never have to hear you say another word, Silus. Carry on. Lieutenant. Oh, let's go round two, baby! Let's go round two, baby! Oh, yes. Nanny, nanny, boo boo, stick your head in doo doo. Hey, bud, it's excrement again. You sure? You sure you're ready for this? You don't have to do this. Oh, I don't have to. Now I just want to. You shouldn't have done it. I'm the only friend you have right now. Did you honestly believe you could escape death? Oh, but I do see loose. Unlike you, I follow Kaiser's orders. Oh, yeah. What? Look. You can beat a man to death, but don't you want to kind of ruin their soul first? If I had killed myself, then I would have been murdering one of Kaisar's greatest soldiers. Either choice is a betrayal of the Legion, as I see it. I've done everything Kaisar ever asked of me, and this is how I am repaid. With assassination, I ambushed countless NCR patrols and wiped them out so that our operatives could move freely. I waited for him to dispatch us for three days. Never questioning why the headaches he complained of would hinder his ability to command. I'm just gonna let him keep talking. I haven't breathed a word about the officer we planted here. He continues to radio intelligence to Kaisar's camp nearly every night. I've proven my loyalty. All you're doing is killing a loyal soldier. If that's Kaisar's policy, then I say his empire will crumble. His empire fails, it'll probably be because his Kenturians are so gullible. Your loyalty is commendable, but I don't... Nah, this is, this is the hardest choice. This goes hard. What? What do you mean? You've been tricked, Silus. I'm working with the NCR. I just got you to talk. Thank you for singing so beautifully. No, you slimy bastard. Nothing I've said will change the outcome for you. No force can hold back the tide of the Legion. This camp and everyone in it will burn. Yeah, sure. That's why uh, it's uh, an imprisoned man has a lot of words. So, good morning. Hello. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you. Oh, she's back. Okay. No? You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him. And I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. Mm -hmm. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm going to talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant. But from what I saw, you're more of an artist. <laughs> so think of this as your commission. Cool. Thanks for the shmoney. Yeah, no, yep. I also got a big tip. Around. So whoever is breaking into the... Um... Comms tower is not smoothly pooping, but sending say, very dangerous intel. Like so we've got a Caesar's Legion spy, which is super not good. Um, I put a spell on you. Investigate the late night break-ins at Camp Repair and Control Tower. Tell Dr. Henry you've discovered a potential cause. I don't want to do that yet. Why are the gunrunners secret? Um, I still haven't found, uh, Mr. Guy, though. Mr. 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 Man. Um. I gotta keep looking for him. Mission? Like, the kind you can get with the talented artist, Clara? <laughs> Zane, thank you so much for hyping me up. If anyone's interested, I do have commissions open. Um, if I ha if you want to commission something for me that's not on the list, we can always talk about it. Um, primarily I do PNG models. I'm hoping to open up emotes in the future, though. I also have an Etsy. That's right. Thank you, Wales. Thank you all so much for hyping me up. I do have an Etsy where I sell, um, affordable streamer assets. Um, I... <laughs> I feel really bad. I meant to update it more, and then I got sick, and my whole schedule got 
thrown off kilter. Um, that's to the control tower. He's the mess cook, so look for cafeteria. Thank y'all. I think that's going to be beyond the gate, right? I haven't been in airports a bunch, but my understanding is... After you do all the security checks, you can get food, right? So it should be this way? Right? Yeah, it's the concourse, which I have not explored. Who are you? Evening. Did the colonel send you? I... I was hoping he might have changed his mind. What's wrong? I know. I've been crying. Stupid. I'm supposed to be a soldier. My husband. He's oh. a ranger, and he... He got murdered by a pack of fiends. Goddamn savages laid his body out to rot. Brass won't say it to me straight, but they mean to leave Esteban out there. I can see that plain. Well, that sucks. Thank you for the stretchies. How did he die? He was out on patrol. Bunch of drugged up fiends attacked them. Esteban laid down cover fire while the others fell back. One of the men saw him get shot. He didn't die, though. Not then. Oh. They tried to go back for him, but there were too many fiends and they had to pull out. Damn savages chased them halfway to McCarran. I'll recover your husband's body. Ma'am, I'd about given up hope. But you've got to be careful. I don't want anybody else dying on my account. Esteban's body is laid out between some of the buildings, east of the Repcon headquarters. At least that's what his squad mates said. There's an NCR position just north of there. It's on the way. They should be able to tell you what the situation is. Nice, thank you. I just want to find food guy, but I'm happy to help you. Hey. Are you? I thought he was pointing his gun at me and I was about to be like, excuse you, sir. <laughs> they just, just waiting for their flight, I guess. <laughs> What's everyone sitting around for? Why? I'm looking for mess hall. This looks like a mess hall. God, what a pigsty. Dude, fucking clean up after your garbage, man. <clears throat> Listen, asshole, I know you're not really an NCR health inspector, so you can cut the restaurant critique routine. And I want my 50 caps back. Because I looked it up and there ain't no disease called colorectal implosion <laughs> syndrome. So I paid you to look the other way for nothing. Wait, wait, you're not. Oh, wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> you look just like... Never mind, sorry. So what can I serve you up? Um, is there a health inspector bothering you? That's nothing. You just look like the health inspector who stopped through for the yearly inspection a couple of weeks back. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait another 11 months to see his crooked ass to get my caps back. <laughs> ah, well. Anything That's not good. Um, this spore pod extract from Keeley should help with morale. No shit. The stuff actually does all that, huh? I'll have to start testing this out immediately. This will really help keep the guys focused. Oh, yeah. Just kidding. Haven't you heard? With a, You can only do so much. Well, oh, so they have a shipping problem. Okay. Well, we haven't had any quality meat in months. Everyone in the camp just eating beans for protein. It isn't pretty. Oh, God. Some of my kitchen machinery is broken <clears throat> down, too, so we've been eating mostly raw vegetables. And I'm desperate for spices or seasonings. Anything. Just something for the general mood around here. Um, what parts do I need to fix the food processor? Here's the list. We've been scrapping together quick fixes to keep it running for months. I think it finally crapped out and needs a full overhaul. It's the goofy machine behind the counter in the corner next to the stove. I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at it and get it fixed up. Where might I find these parts? I don't know. Try the very... Okay, traders. Oh, I've heard of a place called House Tools you can Ooh. check out. It's an old factory on the north side of Vegas. <laughs> Just a word of warning, though. I hear no one who goes in there comes back out. Could be traps, crazy robots, or who knows what's in that place. I'm good. Never mind. Menu today is beans, beans, and beans with a side of beans, which is gonna be a mess for the latrines. Um, where, where do you find, I suggest I find meat? It doesn't need to all come from the same source. We've never really tried to go out and organize deals with merchants to supply our food. Already having an overstock of food, we haven't needed to. 
But we really need some good old red meat on the menu soon. Got it. Where should I look for spices? The Crimson Caravan would probably Can doodle. Hell, and we have a whole research department. One guy's even set up in the main terminal building. They're the ones who ought to be looking into it. All right. Um. I mean, I can get supplies. Nope. Okay. Cool. So is that a chain of interesting? So is this something where I just like give him stuff repeatedly, or is it a one-time quest? Where's the goofy machine he was talking about? Is this the food processor? Wait, what's my repair? It's not 80, is it? 45. Okay, what do I need? Okay. So I need to get two pilot lights, two pressure cookers, two conductors, two fire hose nozzles. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. A pot. Oh, interesting. The, the private Morales thing isn't like a... Uh... I forgot that I can get, like, side quests in here. Whoops. My bad. Take out Motor Runner. Private Morales. Okay, so I should still do that, um... I should still do the quest where I go investigate the... Control Tower. Because that's not good. That That's really got to get addressed. What? Oh, and the game crashed. Love that. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, well, thankfully, I have autosave. So I'll just have to go and redo that dialogue. Yeah, it was about due. I'm surprised it lasted that long without crashing. <laughs> Seems kind of fortuitous, though, because I do got to go make myself like an actual lunch. I have been snacking during stream, but I should probably eat something a little more substantial. Thank you all so much for hanging with me today. I had a ton of fun. Um, I really do enjoy this game, even though I spent like an entire two hours trying to navigate the freaking, <laughs> trying to navigate the freaking uh, vault. That took entirely too long, but I did have a lot of fun. Thank you all for joining me today.